You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. What is up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to another episode of the Hello Sport Podcast. Home on qualified opinion and unwavering bias. Fucking big, good, awesome, sick, mad episode today. We've got the one and only Ned Brockman, the big, beautiful, sexy Ned Brockman. Big and beautiful. Us. Big, beautiful, sexy. Uh, Ned has written a book. He has. Showing up. By Ned Brockman. Yeah. Ghost written by someone else. When's it available? First week of October, punters and dribblers at nedbrockman.com. But it's also available for pre-sale right now. He came in on Tuesday, sat down for a good old yarn. It's a fucking funny one. And it's nice to have a follow-up one where it's not like, you know, we've, we've had the yarn about his sort of yep. journey in the, across Australia and shit. Yep. But this was just a nice catch-up between, you know, athletes. Well, it was a nice, it was a nice catch-up amongst athletes, amongst marathon runners, yep. amongst people that just get after it. Um, yep. People with like iron wills and you know, yeah, uh, a thirst to to conquer, you know, great heights. I anyway, suppose. look enough about Ned. I don't want to interrupt our our sort of Ned soliloquy, but you may have heard the little crack there. We're cracking at the first bottle of the twenty twenty three Big Day Rose Vintage. We've been in the lab working on this bitch for a long time, as you know. Look at that colour. Look at that colour. Look at that colour. That Look at is that colour. Cherry you know, ripe. Obviously, you can't hear colour, but you can, I bet you can. I bet if you're just listening to this, you can go, you can tell, oh, that's actually. No, a, no, no, Tom. That's Tom, even lighter. Common misconception. You can hear colour. Yeah. Watch this. That's the sound of colour, baby. Yep. That is awfully good stuff. Oh, great. We've done it again. Whoops. Oh, no. Sorry. Whoops. Hey, guys, just consider this our official apology for fucking doing it again. Oh, look at that colour. Yeah, have, have you had a ch- chance to see that colour yet? Have you seen that colour? Can you see that colour? That colour, this is unbelievable. You, you, you didn't think we could do it again, did you? Oh, you thought there's no fuck, fucking hope in hell of you two dickheads doing it again. But we've done it again. Well, guess what? We've gone and done it again. That is superb. Listen, we've improved on it. Well, you know what? We haven't just done it again. We've gone even further. We've actually gone way further. We've gone further than you could argue anyone's gone before. Well, I mean, you go, fuck, how could you do it any more than you've done it before? And you go, well, this is how. Lighter, better tasting. So basically what we've done, punters and dribblers, is we've taken... An award-winning rosé, best in class, yep. award-winning. Mm-hmm. That's no bullshit. It actually won awards, sorry. It actually won awards. And we go, let's make it better. And then Tom and I get in the lab, work our dicks to the bone for the last, what, six months, seven yep. months, eight months, nine yep. months? Ten months. Ten months? Eleven months. <laughs> Eleven and a half months. Twelve months. Twelve months, thirteen months, whatever. Not important. Nah, maybe we four. get in there and we work our dicks to the bone, Okay. Making the greatest rosé all time. It's lighter and it tastes better. Yep. It's lighter and it tastes better. Now, listen, that's not why we're here. We are here, obviously, to tell you that Ned Brockman's about to come up. But, I mean, this, 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 this fresh bottle of Big Day Rosé happened to be sitting in our freezer, you know, getting, uh, getting cold as fuck. Getting really ice cold. Imagine actively... Avoiding a bottle of rosé like that, you can't. You can't walk past that in the street no. and not and not want to take it to Pound Town. Now, can't be done. I've got an exciting bit of news for you, punters and dribblers. Uh, next Thursday, six pm, HelloSport dot shop. Correct. Uh, Big Day Rosé back on sale for the silly season. It's back, motherfuckers. Finals footy, grand final footy, Big Day Rosé, spring carnival, horizontal season, fucking New Year's. It's on for young and old holy shit this is good rosé mm-hmm. i can't get over it and you go oh you're talking shit but everyone that t- bought it last year knows we weren't yep. and i'm telling you right now this is better look at it look at it look at it now if you're lucky enough to be one of the very few people coming to the hacker major on friday you will have front row seats to the brand new batch uh front so row enjoy that prepare the talons l- tannins sorry not talons lube them up now before we get into Ned, a bit of news has come across our desk. Fuck, this is good rosé. I know, it's good rosé, isn't it? It's so good. It's good. We had a bit of an up and down day today, punters and dribblers, and it's nice to finish on a high. 
So we've come home with a wet sail today. Real wet sail stuff from us. We've um, gone bang, 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 bang. Yeah, yeah. Wet sail, big time. Huge wet sail. So really sale. pleased with that. But there's in t- you want to talk wet sail? You want to talk? You know things that that wet your sail. Eddie and I, as we tend to do when we're just you know doing our job, which is just you know obviously one of our jobs is creating world a watering rosé, but the other one's just perusing the internet, uh, and. Came across a little page called the Punters and Dribblers. Don't know if you've heard of it. We um, hop on there from time to time. Yeah, quite. There's a couple of other like-minded individuals in there. Yeah, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. There. Nothing crazy. Um, anyway, a video has been shared to the page. Tobler's going to let me know who in a second. I've kind of forgotten, but two brothers, Dubbo boys, no less. Dubbo boys have, in in Centro. Dubbo, which is the dribbliest mall of all time. Is that the one we went to get the Devon? No. Okay, so no, even that's, dribblier than that. No, no, it's no, no, it's dribblier than that's new. That one, dude. That's Delroy oh, Park. Is, that's Delroy Park. I'm talking old school Centro punters and dribblers. I'm talking where Tajay used to be. Okay. I'm talking Coles. I'm talking that a little conveyor belt that goes down into the fucking car park where you used to be able to pick your groceries up from. I'm I'm talking sanity punters and dribblers. Oh. I'm talking Donut King. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Centro. Bro? Centro Mall. Centro Mall. Just jeans. Oh, fuck yeah. Medicare used to be there. Like, let's get it together. Let's yeah. not get it twisted. Now, the, the reports out of the bow. Supre, Tom, Supre. used to be in there. Fuck. Jesus. Centro Dubbo. Reports out of Centro Dubbo is that there was a knife-wielding individual standing in the middle of the place threatening to kill people. Obviously, that's heavy. Maybe you didn't expect it to take a turn that way. But what happens... When, you know, there's a there's a, a madman in Centro Dubbo threatening to kill people and there's there two, happen to be... There's two dribblers there. Two dribblers there. You know what happens? Fucking I tell you who doesn't get to kill him, the guy trying to kill people yeah. because there's some dribblers about. Some dribblers, dribblers about. made of the right stuff. Maybe a, a couple of brothers. Maybe a couple of brothers who, who come up, who hatch a plan. Hatch a plan to take down... Thwart this madman. Now, their names, Thomas Tobler. Uh, Blake and Daryl of Townie Brothers fame. Blake and Daryl Townie. You could not pick two greater names. Blake and Daryl, last name Townie, Dubbo Townies, thwarting a madman Townie. With the last name Townie. Wielding in, a knife. In Dubbo Centro, the dribbliest place on earth. I mean, one of the brothers fucking uh, picks up, I think, like a high chair and just... And just Keeps his gaze. Well, they make fixed. a plan. It seems they do, like they hatch a plan. They hatch a plan. I don't know if it was. I think it was Daryl picks up the high chair. He's getting ready to go and murk this guy while he's coming up from one side. Blake Towney of wearing a beer soon shirt. Yep. Flies in and absolutely smokes this dude. Spear tackles him into the ground, thwarts the madman. Cops are there. They're heroes. Punting and dribbling reigns supreme. And, Eddie, I don't think it is too much for you and I now to acknowledge that we do have officially brothers in the Hello Sport 11. There's brothers in the Hello Sport 11. There's brothers in the Hello Sport 11. Every you- every great sporting team has brothers. The Trebojevic's, the Stewart's, the War Brothers, the, the Walker Brothers coaching in rugby league. I'm sure there's more brothers we're not you thinking think, of. You think we're going to... Fucking walk past a couple of towny brothers Come who on. are stopping crime and saving the community yep. from trouble. Come on. You think I'm going to walk past a couple of brave towny brothers doing, doing the doing right that? thing? Do you think we're doing that? Fort and crime? Blake and Daryl? Keeping the community safe? Townies? Making sure Centro Dubbo is a place that families young and old, new, new, can go and, and have a safe shopping experience? Yeah. Uh, you telling me that, that we're going to walk past a couple of proud dribblers, townies no less. Dumbo boys. Just fucking, you know, just helping the, the local community get their Devon. Is that what you're telling us? Is that what you're telling us? Is that, you think, is that you think that's what we're about? Because if you've parked in the underground car park, you've come up the escalator and you're making your way to Coles to get Devon, you've got to go past a knife-wielding maniac. <laughs> you do. I've seen. I've seen the tapes. I know exactly the path you'd have to tread. Yeah. And there's a knife wielding maniac in the way. Not anymore. Not anymore. Townie Brothers. Tell you where he's at. Tell you where that knife wielding maniac is, Eddie. Core of the Earth. Yeah. Driven into it. One Core of the great the hits of all time. No, that's one of the great hits. Core of the Earth. Blake had a bit of bad in. Big boy. Mate, Blake looked like a frustrated first grader. Blake, Could have been anything. And Blake been at work too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in fucking he, those he pants. Work pants and yeah, work and boots. boots. 
Work boots. Yeah, the grip was good and solid. The grip was True. good, mate. He he got such good contact. Oh, it's elite contact. That, that guy that, got fucked. That up. maniac didn't know what hit him. No, he, well, I tell you what, hit you. <laughs> fucking Blake Towney hit you. <laughs> I give you that tip, cut. He got fucking driven into the core of the earth by Blake Towney. Blake Towney hit while you. He, son. While his brother Daryl, Daryl Towney, fucking Red. kept your gaze, mate. Now listen, kept you occupied. Daryl kept you occupied. Blake Towney fucking puts the shot on. That's just two brothers working off each other. And listen, we need that sort of spirit, that sort of fucking energy, that sort of camaraderie, that sort of bravery in the punters and dribblers. Yeah. Uh, specifically in the Halo Sport 11. Yeah. Specifically. Because I want to know that if I'm going to buy Devon, i got fucking Blake on my side. But and you know Dazza. what? Yeah, but you know what Blake and Daryl... Bazza and Dazza. You know what Blake and Daryl do, Eddie? Is when we're fucking... In the unlikely event that we lose a couple of early wickets... Oh, they come up and shore up the middle. Blake and Daryl come in and they shore the shit up. They shot the middle. And I'm pretty sure that either Blake or Daryl an all-rounder. And but I'm not talking middle of the field, punch. No, we're talking middle order. Talking middle order. Don't get that twisted. So, congratulations to the Townie brothers. Because obviously you and I start and open and then and then Punter comes in at Punter three. Punter comes in at three. And, we're, and now we're in the middle order. Warner, Gilchrist, Townie brothers. <laughs> yeah, heavy you the, hitters. You get the drill. A lot of you are not playing. Yeah. But they're playing. Well, they're playing. Fucking oath they are. So, congratulations to the Townie boys. Uh, official members of the Hellas with 11. Maybe after this, Tobler, just play the video. And then we'll get into Brockman. Then I've got an announcement. Another one. Well, then do the announcement first. And then we'll no, play you the play the video. Oh, should we play the video now? Yeah. Wait, here's the video of the Townie brothers getting into their work. How good was that? How fucking good was How that? How good was that? Now Unbelievable. He's got an announcement. It's now, not. It's not. It's not about the fucking rosé. We've just no. Played. It's about marathon. Oh, okay, good. Because the rosé is fucking punters good. and dribblers. If you're gonna, you have to go to the venue in Alexandria to pick up your race day bib. Members of the Goers Run Club. If you aren't, then this doesn't really apply to you. If you're not, if if when she, once you're there, you can also pick up your Hello Sport shirt. Now the size that you put down when you signed up is the size you'll be getting. You don't go in there and get to pick and choose because then you throw everyone else out. What you put down at the start. Is what you get at the end. Now, the address, 75 and 86 O'Reardon Street, Alexandria. There's signage everywhere. Go and find the Hello Sport booth. That's where you get your shirt and you get your race day bib elsewhere. Now, it is open on Thursday for race day entry bibs. We are not going to be there on Thursday. It's a manning issue. We will be there Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturday... 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's correct. Now, for those wondering about the after party, it is at the Ivy. It starts at 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. All the goers' names are on a list downstairs. That gets you upstairs to the pool. Now, the pool's open to everyone. But... Every runner. Every runner in the marathon. Every runner in the marathon, that's right. You have to have run the marathon to get up there. Or competed, at least. You can't get into the Hello Sport Goers separate area, our separate room, our special room with a private bar tab, unless you're a goer. Mm. It's as simple as that. Which you, which you are if you listen to this. You would hope. You would think so. Well, unless Actually, that's true. Some people have messaged well, us recently going, oh, I didn't sign up. It's like, uh, oh, you want to well, you just sign up now, So, dude. Um, I hope I've made myself clear. Yeah. See you on race day. Good luck. Rip in. All the best. All the best. Go hard. Don't forget salt tablets because cramping will happen. Do not forget salt tablets. It's not that hard either. You know what I mean? It's not. If you're made of the right stuff. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy Brockman. Okay. Ciao. We are always brought to you by our good friends at Ned Zeddy. People know that by now. They're the best in the biz. They're the betting agency, the betting platform that we use here at Hello Sport and About Even, which is the number one betting show in the country. Um, And they support us dutifully. And we support them. And I, having a punt on the weekend, not that it's important, had a bit of a stinker. We had a big stinker, you and I, really. It was a stinker. We had a stinker. We were all right on about even, Tom and I, but, geez, we stunk it up. Oh, no, we weren't good in about even. We stunk it up in about even. Civilian. We had some civilians that went all right. Shout out to Tom Starling. Big fan of your work, bro. Shout out to Tom Starling. Tom Starling. Tom Starling. 1150. Whatever. Tom Starling, whatever. 11.50. Whatever, Tom Starling, 11.50, whatever. Yeah. Now, private. if you're in the private Ned's group, yep. which is about called About Even, yep. Secret Pass Go Dribbler. That's better. 
then you may have seen the Tom Starling bet. I can't remember if I shared it or not. I hope I did. But that's where you get – that's where you got to go to try and find some good juicy insights. Because – that's where Tom and I hand out our award-winning bets because, you know, they're about even ones are okay, but it's our civilian bets that really hit home. I would reckon we probably land 80 90% of civilians. Well, listen, that's probably a lie, but the about even group is where you're going to find them, and that's only on the Neds app. So be there. Be there or be square. Shout out to Neds. Love Neds. Neds number one. Go Neds. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, Call the number on screen or visit the website. Like, There's some fucking podcasts now. Though. I know, dude. <laughs> like, so it's many. awfully scary how many podcasts there are in this world. We were saying it at the start of the year. We were like, it's really ramped up. The, like, for especially in our world, which is like all that we pay attention to, right? Mm. Really. But like, we're like, oh, fuck me, mate. Like, the content wars have seriously kicked off. Literally. And it's like... I don't know, if someone is has become something or people do things, all of a sudden they feel obliged to have a podcast, which yes. is great. I love that everyone, there's one test you up straight away. I was going to not say anything. I was going to. Nah, bring it up. Bring it up every fucking time. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll have a counter. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Will, I had one in the TO interview before and I said it and no, I picked up on it. I called myself out. Well, yeah, but it's like. It's not funny when you call yourself out. It's not as funny. Nah. It's anyway, certainly yeah. not as funny. Is what it is. No, it is. But you're right. We but it's funny because at the start of the year we were like content wars. They've yeah. begun. They're begun. They're alive and well. And it's only gonna ramp up from here. Oh. It's not gonna stop here, mate. It's gonna get but, fuck. There's gonna be more and more and more and more. Do you more. think like when people see the way podcasts some podcasts are going that they just think they could do it? Yep. And then they just go, Well, I'm going yeah. in. I'm doing yes. it. Yes. So it's, now the I barrier to entry is so like fucking low, get yeah. a microphone and record, just use your phone. There's like a successful podcast. I don't know what it is, but like it's two chicks, just their phone. They're like, that's the thing. So you can do whatever you want. People just always do. You see it, you see it heaps off the back of like, obviously like notable achievements, mm. but then you see it off the back of reality shows. Every yeah. single person who is on there gets a podcast yeah, and they'll yeah. do it for like maybe a couple of months. And how they can they change just, lives and shit. Then they just stop. Yeah. But heaps, mate, the internet is fucking littered with podcasts oh, that were started yeah. and they fizzle out. Yeah. Like so the Instagram pages just left, yeah. left dormant, like like abandoned houses. That's yeah. exactly Instagram like Instagram pages that have just got nothing just on Just like there. great intent until they find out that like it's probably a bit of work goes in. You just got to keep, you just got to grind your dick to the bone most of the time or you can just be really good and then it goes well for you Jarch it can and Lou. Jarch and Lou but they're uh, they're very very rare yeah, for the rest uh, of us it's like five years yeah. of same time every time yeah. same day every week for five years just keep turning up that's it show up we, that's, but that's show why up. we get along so well yeah, show it's, up, show it's up. a lot of similarities because we just kept showing show up, up baby <laughs> there it is right on cue right on cue <laughs> boys look how about it Dude, congratulations. Well Thank done, you. mate. That's not why I'm here. I no, actually, no, no. Look, I know. I do I do want to preface this with this is not, hey, guys, here's my book. Fucking get it out there. Well, do you want to yarn and we can talk about the book now or do you want to talk we about it? We can do what you fucking want, but well, I, we don't have to talk about the book at all. The, the reason I got the, the book, book up and showed it was because it was just perfect timing. Yeah, right on cue. And you that. need to... Listen, that's seven years in the podcast. Like in our game, in our <laughs> game. I'm not going to walk past that. I'm not going to walk past the opportunity to... No. No one is there. Of, no. But how, did, did, how many people asked you to do podcasts after you did the, the great run? Um, after the run, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the numbers. But like, you you know, that's, you know. They'd be up there. And it's, I was trying to be quite aware that like anyone that had me on prior, I, I went and did after. Yes. Because I was very grateful for them getting mm. me out there. And it was an yeah. awesome story. And it took a leap to get me on, you know. Yeah. Um, and I really love giving back to people who can give to you as well. Mm. I like love that. But yeah, after as soon as it happened, I was like, fuck, this is this is not good. And I'm that sick of my voice half the time anyway. So talking on someone else's podcast yeah, yeah. and then answering the exact same fucking questions. Yeah, that must be that must like, have been the hardest part. Everyone can go listen to this, you know. Like go listen to that one. How about the I, maggot in your toe? <laughs> how many shoes do you wear? <laughs> Literally, yeah. how many fucking shoes you burn through? That was the biggest one. I was trying Always. to wrap my mind around how many of those questions we gave you when you cut it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one, no, the first time was good. It was good. It was the questions that didn't uh, 
weren't the yeah weren't, weren't the, the norm. Yeah. But but what about doing your own one? Because like, is that something that you considered? Were people honestly you to do it? I have I've probably been asked like by five different like agencies or like mm. whatever you call them. Yeah. Um, or production places, and I like I don't know. I think about like what I why I'm doing everything like why I do this stuff like running across Australia or the pull-ups or whatever it is. Mm. It's like, it doesn't, that doesn't fuel that. Like the, the talking about, I don't know. I, I feel like that will come up in when I do these things as opposed to doing it every day and every week in a podcast. Yeah. Like I like being able to come and speak on someone else's talk about whatever. Um, but not having to try and find something each week. Like I feel there's so much of it as we touched on before. It's like, I just don't, want to add to it to the noise of it all a little yeah bit. i get that as well in terms of like if your racket is also like you also do speaking engagements and shit as well i wonder whether there would be a concern about like just burning fucking literally and telling content. like what am i going to talk about yeah <laughs> you know what i mean if and i'm flying like around listen to your podcast and then you're going on these tours and yeah you similar shit you'd be like this is fucked like how was end up comedian. how was that recent one in vegas <laughs> That yeah, was what fucked, fuck? mate. What that was, was that so hard. Uh, Mac is actually. Mac McDonald's. Is. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Mac. Um, that was the most fucked <laughs> experience. <laughs> I've, I've done a fair few in the last, like, oh, it's been you know eight months now. First one was in February. Mm. Um, and, like, I've never traveled for one, like, more than two hours. Mm. Flew to Vegas, 14 hours. Flight to Va uh, LA, 14 hours. Vegas for an hour. Got there, rattled. Like completely jet lagged, yeah. fucking keynote the next morning. So I'm trying, I'm in this casino, it's just like pokies galore. I'm like, you, there's no, the roof is like a cloud. You know how they paint like a cloud so you don't know whether you're inside or outside, yeah. night or day. It's like 5 a.m. It's fucking like, <laughs> looks like you're in the middle of the day. Yeah. Keep hunting. Yeah, literally. And um, yeah, so I rocked up on stage, 1,600 people, all hung over. <laughs> Macca's is fucking leaders who have an all expenses paid trip to Vegas. Oh. The last thing they want to hear is Ned Brockman tell them how to be better. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> I reckon I was like two minutes in and I'm trying to crack funnies and trying to like oh. just get people on board. And it was fucking falling on deaf ears. Oh. It was so bad. Oh, shit. oh, it made me sick. And I. <laughs> and you're up there by yourself. I had an hour up there, mate. Oh, an fuck. hour. An hour. Wow. And I'm like tweaking out, like I'm going, I'm not going to make 20 minutes. So I'm like dragging on these things. And like when you drag them on, it gets fucking more boring, more yeah. boring. And I'm yeah. like trying to hold on. Um, Nazim Hussein, you know, the um, comedian? Yes. Nazim, yeah. So he was there emceeing the event. Yeah. Um, and it's all like Australians, but they're all flown over via Maccas. Fucking oath. For a rip and tear. Literally for a fucking rip and tear. <laughs> like they say it's to, you know, it's basically to keep them – in like wanting to manage Maccas around yeah. the country. Yeah. So they give them an all expenses paid trip to Vegas. Amazing. Everyone develops, but it's just like half the people I saw, like I reckon 20% might've known me. Yep. The rest of like saying hello in the, in the hallways and shit, they're all just like hung over, yeah. rattled, waiting for the night to get ripping again. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, for? But it was fun. Like it was, it was fine. I, he did it. We did a Q and A with Nazim about 30 minutes. I, I got to, and we're like, right, let's Q and A. So he got up on stage and he's like, what the fuck? I thought was, we're going to do like 10 minutes. Maybe but we had half an hour of Q and A in front of 600 people that didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and are you trying to get questions out of them? Yeah. So I was like, if there's any, like I kind of prefaced it at the start. Like if you have any questions, I, I, I have a, a, you know, habit of, uh, rushing over things that I, you know, just try and go, hey guys, just ask me fucking questions. Because yeah. I really go best when I'm asked stuff. Yeah. If I like, you know, have the reins and get told to talk about being, being more resilient or whatever. Yeah. I go down the tangent that I think is important and people are just like, what the fuck is he saying? Yeah. Because right. what goes on in here is like, I think it's a very, like, not unique, but very odd. And yeah. I don't know if that really translates very well to like, a group of <laughs> yeah, yeah, hungover McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's mate, that's a yeah. tough crowd though. It was that's a fucking hard. That's a, that's a, that's a tough, 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 that's a tough crowd. crowd. I love though, like finishing them and going, "Well, that was fucked." <laughs> and how am I gonna like if I come up to that again? Yeah. How am I gonna be better yeah. at that? Because yeah. that is that was horrendous. Yes, and I'm sure there was parts of it where they were like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" And I, I, you know, there's been great feedback from some people, not all, but some. Um, <laughs> I haven't heard from all six hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Um, but then I had one two days later on the Goldie. Mm. 
um, on Saturday. And I flew up. I had no time to prepare. Like, I, I'm so, so rattled. Saw Lou on the plane, actually, up to the Goldie oh, session. Yeah. Were you, fucking, but were you wiggy? So I'm tweaking out. I'm on the plane just, like, trying to work out what the fuck I'm going to say. Because I'm like, this didn't work. And then I just went, fuck me, mate. Like, we're all monkeys. You're going to die. Just fucking go up there and talk. <laughs> tell your story. Yeah. Like, it's that easy. Yeah. yeah. And if you're confident, if you're pumped up there yeah they're gonna be like like they're gonna be like, oh what's going on with this kid then i'll be able to give what i need to give yeah and it was fucking the best one i've done oh there you go. yeah and i was like why am i not doing this every time but it like it's innately in you to fucking get up there in front of a thousand people and shit yourself like yeah, i don't know anyone see, who's no mate and especially because if you've got a plan in your head or you're trying to settle into it and you're like, yeah. this is going to give me confidence if I get a laugh here or yeah. if this is well received. And then you get nothing. It doesn't go that way, mate. Dude. It's yeah, like, just like, did there was just did the sweat start to fucking Balls just, in throat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> balls in throat. Yeah. yeah. Worse than a three foot, That's three foot part. That is so <laughs> fucked, dude. Yeah. Is that the biggest, what's the biggest audience you've done it to? 4,000. 4,000. That was this, that was probably the best one I've done up until this one. On until Saturday. this one. And mm. where was that at? Um, in On the Goldie, actually. 4,000. Something about the Goldie. Goldie, dude. They Goldie energy. Up. It was um in front it. of real estate agents in um the Australian real estate conference. I imagine that they'd be like quite a I'd eager go. crowd. Like they're they're all about like fucking. Yeah. It's obviously a different field, but like you know they're no, all they about are fucking That's, going for it. Yeah, it, and it, it's so dependent on who I'm speaking to. Like because yeah. they're all corporate. Like they're all they're all under speakers bureaus. So it's like hey, they got this corporate gig. It's a three day. Um, event, you know, you're going to speak, be speaking to shut the show. And usually it's like the day after that, the fucking rip and tear I'm speaking. So I'm mm. always trying to, you know, get people up and about. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, you're the motivation to get them, you know, through it. I'm like, fuck me. Like, thanks for that. Uh, yeah. Um, but it is cool. Cause it's like a lot, you know, that one I closed, like Rich Roll spoke the day before and I closed that event on the, uh, the Goldie one um, in front of the 4,000 people. Like I, I closed that whole event, mm. which was pretty cool. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you don't, if it doesn't land when you first get out there, it's like this is gonna be a hard thing to crawl out of. But do you, do you just have to get up there and speak, or do they make you do other things? You have to go to like workshops and shit and like oh, um, like VIP I, backstage. I, yeah, fucking. I fucking hate workshops, and I've barely ever been in them in my life. Not a big workshop guy. Just the idea <laughs> of like you know, or everyone gets a piece of paper. You know what I mean? Yeah, like thoughts, like yeah. you know, everyone's teamwork, and I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah. Um, Sometimes, like, we try now, like, I, I really put emphasis on hanging around, saying hi to everyone, get every photo they want, yeah. like, be, if I'm there, I'm all, all yeah. theirs, um, unless my flight's there or whatever. Mm. Um, but, like, yeah, we don't probably say yes to ones where I have to be, like, around the whole day and do a, you know, go to the dinner and yeah. we did say that at the start and then we realised there was quite a market trying to have me speak. So mm. I was like, hey, maybe we don't do the dinners and the kiss babies in the morning and go for the run with them. And it's like, maybe yeah. we just give my time, mm. do an awesome keynote, say hello, you know, shake hands and then get out of there. When you when you talk about like, so obviously you have your Vegas uh, experience, but then when you go into the Goldie, you're like fucking trying to work on, haven't you kind of got it like relatively dialed now? Uh, yes and no. Like the first one I did, I did in front of before Goggins on in February. Um, and that was so wildly different to what I speak about now. Because you've had time to refine it? Yeah, not not more because my what, what goes on in here has completely changed. Okay. So, like, my reflections from the run then to what my reflections are now and my, like, what I've taken and why I do what I do and how things are done, like, it's so fucking different. Why? Really? Because, well, there's a quite, like, in the way you, like, you do potties, right? You you started however long ago. Seven years. Seven years Probably, ago. Yeah. And you've got 500 and however many. 500, uh, 500 and something. Yeah. Uh, nice. um, <laughs> I find it like because you've done all that and time and time and time and the, the learnings from it, you know what works, you know what doesn't, but you also know how to engage with people and you know how to – like I think those things come from not being silly about – like. I think you would be it would be naive and dumb to not learn from those. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. I once thought the reason I was doing the run across Australia was just because of a certain thing. And now mm. I'm like like those like part of me was like I don't want I want people to 
the, 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 the naysayers. I want to fuck them off. I want to all this, blah, blah, blah. But now it's like, I don't, I don't do it for, I don't want to be the best runner. I don't want to be the best. Like, I just want to scale heights of everything. So yeah. like in pull-ups or whatever it may be. So like now I'm like, I'm, I'm hardly even talking about the run in these um, keynotes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like I'm like, because that that's living in the, in the past. It's mm, not yeah. living for like a, mo- like a movement, I guess. Yes. It's like, I'm trying to get people to go, what's your fucking thing you want to do in yep. this life? You know, yeah. like, why are we just coasting? Go do shit. Yeah. Scale these things in whatever it is. Mm. And that's why I don't like, the run has made me be in the public eye and it's made me who I guess I am. Mm. But like, there's so many other layers to it. Yes. And I'm trying to then put that into the next thing and the next thing not being just running. And is there a part of the running thing now where you're over talking about it to a degree or is it still like in the full extent of explaining everything and talking through like how it all was like, like do you get a bit fatigued on that side of things. Is it nice to be able to, I, I fall into a trap of thinking I've already spoken about it to everyone. Yeah. Where the vast majority of the country don't actually know the ins and outs it's of anything. It's funny, isn't it? It's yeah. Funny but I, because I've spoken about it 150 times since I finished, <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's so fucking bored of it. Why yeah. would anyone want to hear this? Because you're then, bored of it. Yeah. yeah. But then I go up and this Goldie one on the weekend, they're just like, you what? Like, <laughs> you fucking did what a day? Like, and then- yeah, it's 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 fucking fascinating. And then you, but you've just got to like literally delete anything in your brain mm. and then retalk it out. And people are just like fucking gobsmacked. Yeah, and it's hilarious because I'm like I've already done this so many times. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, That's and funny. it's yeah, it is. It's so it's so different. It's so different now. And I think the next one I do on you know I'm going to Adelaide tomorrow to do one where it'll be so much different than it was on Saturday. Yeah, okay. because it's a different crowd. Yep, I've had more thought on what it is you know that's actually really cool though to know that you do that again just my lizard brain thinks i'm getting up there and telling the exact same fucking story like but to actually have it sort of change over time funnily enough too like my the story the keynote it's like i touch on like i think we're all here to evolve and be better people that's one like become a better person like learn from your mistakes and then the other is to give back so like whether it doesn't have to be raising money or whatever it is, it's like smile at someone who you probably wouldn't have fucking smiled or buy someone's coffee. And then the other is um, live life to the fullest. So it's like, if I'm not getting up there to these people and actually learning from what's gone bad and being better, mm. yeah. then how am I going to sell that to them? Yeah. You know what I mean? If it's not changing from February, then it won't be better in yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I'm not evolving. Do you reflect about what you say to people, or are you are you reflecting about these things just during the day, or are you going, okay, I could fix this or change this, or are you just thinking about it generally, and that changes what you talk about the next time? Like, Mate, how often do you reflect on this stuff day to day? I reckon I'm awake for. 17, 18 hours. I reckon fifteen, but I'm constantly going, "What the fuck am I doing?" Yeah, thinking like, what was that? What was this? Yeah. Which is which is probably not great. You but need to, you need to, you might need to fucking have a couple of gummies and hop into a. Swim. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a really bad headache. <laughs> <laughs> like you did, mate. No, that was the tequila. In mm. fairness, the gummies will just help you fucking disappear. Sure. sure. Um, I don't know. Like I like even yesterday in the gym, mid pull ups, I'm like looking at myself in my eyes in the mirror, just like sitting down, and I'm like. Like all these things start coming around. So I grab my phone, get my notes up, start typing. Because I'm like, I want to think, I want to remember what I just thought about because that's the shit. That's the shit. And then yeah. I'll re-look at it again in an hour or, in, or whatever. And then I get back to the pull-ups, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think that most powerful reflection time is up on stage talking about what you think is important to these people because you'll find out. Because like if you're bullshitting, mm. it'll come back in your face by no one reacting or no one – laughing or no one, whatever. Right. Yeah, I think that's the most powerful. And that's probably why I'm thinking so much because I'm constantly talking about it. Are you like, are you finding yourself getting addicted to this keynote stuff? Do you enjoy it or is it, is it paying the bills? No, I, I, I won't say yes to things that don't fill my own cup. Yeah. Like I won't do it just for a dollar now. Yeah, right. Um, it's very easy to go, oh yeah, oh, there's dollars here, dollars here. I better go do that. But, It'll fuck you up 
because all you think about is like, yep, I'm going to take it, yep, and then you'll be flying to six different things. The reason I'm probably flying all the, at the moment is because I've got this book to sell yep. um, and get in people's faces. But um, I think I get addicted to like, like it's fucking wild how crazy life's changed in the last year. Mm. Like I could never have imagined it. Mm. So it's like fucking mental. And I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a part of me that wants to, um, yeah, keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. But I think as well, like, like I'm now ready to do the next thing because I've so overthought about what I've just done that I'm forgetting about why I do it. Mm. Yeah. I just want to fucking do the next thing. Yeah. I'm stinging. How, how have you, uh, processed the last year then? Like in terms of how, how crazy everything's changed. Would you be out on the road this time last year? Yeah, I was like day, what's today? The 12th. It's day 12. Well, yeah, right. Day 12 last year. We were probably sitting right here beating our dicks over it. We were. We're <laughs> starting to really get into a nice room. Yeah, we were. <laughs> Actually, that was my, that was the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? first day of my injury. So I had 11 days, 100K a day, and then day 12. So today, a year ago, was when I fucking walked for 40K. Oh, shit. And you had to go to fucking. Fucking drove the, yeah, 14 hours to Wyala. Why Allah? Jesus God damn. Christ. Still got me still got me lump. Oh shit, dude. Oh my I don't remember God. seeing that lump. So what is that lump? For those of you that are just listening, there's a lump we're looking at on his um, ankle. Where's the camera? There it is. Um yeah, just where I got injected, I just clumped up and stayed and calcified, so my, is it? Is that what it is? I don't really know to be I'm honest. Just using Heap of nerves words. or something. But. Do you cut that out? Do you massage? I don't it out? know. It, it's painful sometimes. Like if I kick the footy too much, she's she's hurt. Oh yeah. If you put a fucking big old that's a serious in. lump there, mate. Yeah, I know. You're lumped up. Lumped up, baby. Yeah. Are you getting physio regularly? Like, is that? Yeah, weekly. Not on that, but no, just on everything um, else. Yeah, on feet and knees and hips. So back to your life changing, right? Like, yeah. is it is there anything that is particularly unexpected? Is there anything that you? particularly enjoy or is it just all you just it's like a sensory overload i um no i weirdly enough kind of expected something to be quite fucking large like i expected it to be whatever it would be like right. I didn't, there's nothing that has freaked me out oh that's gone cool. oh my god this is too much yeah yeah yep. um another one um, I've let a couple go, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's because I lost my voice when fucking Tyson Pedro won. And then oh, I fucking, yeah. now I'm on the back end yeah, of it. Yeah. Struggling. Yeah, and I'm fucking effort, effort. Your, boys. Your, mate, you, you two boys need to go get your fucking mate, voices I'm looked up. City. I'm yeah. Yeah. You're a mess. No, I had, I had hard runs up the middle fucking yesterday with my voice. So I'm, yeah. I'm coming good now. Yeah, and mine, what, what's your excuse? Uh, that I'm constantly disciplining unruly children. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I do a podcast every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Train the voice. Train the voice. <clears throat> um, what were we saying? Well, I think, yeah, nothing really surprised you about Yeah. It. I just, like, I don't know. I think, like, I went to um, Stylebender's doco on Monday. It was like, he had, like, a private screen in Sydney. Yeah. Um, and the first question he got asked when he was doing a Q&A just before the um, doco started was, you know, full full room of people, fans, you know, amazing people in this room watching your thing. Did you ever expect it? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, it's the same fucking thing. I'm like, like, if you don't, you can't get there. I think mm. you have to fully envision something. Yep. Yes, it might change, doors open in different ways, but if you want something, you you have to see it. Yes. Like you, you can't just like fall into it. Because other, because what are you falling into? It's funny. Yeah, it's it's a good point, right? Like, it's like of course I've seen it, and like I, I saw myself finishing this run, and I saw whatever happened mm. of it because I was doing it all for the right reasons. Mm. It's like I just want to see my capabilities, not just physically, but all around. Mm. So, whatever. It will, it will come, will come. You're yeah. a bit, like, of, a, you're a, bit of a big dog back in Forbes. You start swinging your dick when you get back there, and just sort of you know. Um, is there nah. a Brockman Street? Soon, one day. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, mate, Maybe a Brockman Crescent, Brockman Place. Do you want a Brockman street? Circuit? Brockman I wouldn't mind street. a cul-de-sac. Would you? What would you? Would you want a street, a lane? I reckon circuit, a circuit, Crescent, a fucking oval. Nah, Brockman statue, oval. statue, statue, right on uh, on Grinstead Oval in. There you go, Platter Pie. And, and what get are you that going? Yeah, and what are you doing? Running, big fucker, or are you doing pull-ups? 
pull ups. <laughs> Chins. Yeah, yeah. Chins. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Pull up bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. These can't do a pull up. That's good. I in like bronze. That. Yeah, no running. Yeah, no, no fuck the no, running. No. <laughs> no. no. Just jacked. <laughs> just, Ooh. and you're fucking huge. And you're actually doing a muscle up. <laughs> up on the top of it. And you That's fucking cracker. rip the shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's much better. That's, now we're talking. <laughs> that's much better. <laughs> that's I'll talk to um, Phyllis Miller, the mayor. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, get, yeah. get Phyllis. Come on, Phyllis, get it together, <laughs> Phyllis. <laughs> Were you given the keys of the city or anything? No, nah, mate, it's not a city there. Well, it's keys of the town. Keys of the town. Of nah, the- I think there was a. They, they wanted a bit of a bit of a ticker tape parade at the. Um, they have their Bondi, you know, mm. but. I don't know what happened. We um, we'll do it. Later. They got over it. We'll do it. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, it's <laughs> yeah, fuck. What was that? Twenty twenty three. Now it was November, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck that. No, I think we're doing. Oh, we're potentially doing something um, with with something that comes out soon. Um, in Forbes. Yeah. Yep. We'll okay. Just, we'll see. Yeah. Sweet. Were you yeah. devo about Adesanya on the week on the Sunday, man? I was actually quite gutted when I left. I like. I think first and foremost, I was upset for Bam Bam. Just yeah. being so, like I know he'd be he'd be concerned. Do you like think you get, a lot of hit, a lot of punches. Do you think he you got, got the song right? Song wrong? Absolutely not. You, song so wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it was yeah, not good. It was, I I tried to for probably like ten seconds there. I tried to sing it same, and tried to be like, yeah, this is I get it, and then it. This wasn't it. It never hit a moment where I could even really sing it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. As in, you can see just da 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 da. da. And, I, and a few people got angry at me for saying this the other day. I'm not knocking Scar the song. No. And I'm not mi- knocking the great Missy Higgins. Far well, from it. I but, thought we'd preference that. Well, of course we did. But dribblers are stupid sometimes. <laughs> some dribblers are stupid. Yeah. Not all dribblers are stupid. Some. Yeah. Some dribblers was, are um, stupid some of the time. It was yeah, shame. I think it set the tone. Yeah. I Big said Volkov, it. but he's like a fucking. He's a big man. He's ginormous. He's a big man. He's a huge man. There's no, there's no denying that. But Ty's knocked out big men before, and as soon as I heard yeah. that song, I, I looked at Eddie and Josh, and I just went, "This is, this is bad. This is not good." And then it, it just, yeah. And it, it was, and then, then it got tougher though for everyone there. Yeah. And for, and for Bam Bam. It um, I I saw where you guys were sitting. It was pretty like at that height, like they're big men. Like oh, you, yeah. you 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 see him on TV and you're like yeah like they're big and we know their weight and we know what people are that, that weigh that but like when they're in there like it's fucking like even tougher and shit like it was so hectic yeah it was sick wasn't it and Carlos like they're fucking big men just gladiators I find the big guys are bigger than you think. And then, like, your middleweights are smaller than you think. Like, the, the, do you know, in terms yeah, of, like, yeah. when you see one, a middleweight, and then I think about what they – because they're always, like, the pounds and shit, and then I'm trying to work out what they yeah, weigh, yeah. and I'm actually like, oh, okay, like, that is – But that's what they get down to. It's no, 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 I know, I know that. And I'm also – it rattles me because I'm, like, I'm, like, a fucking – I'm almost a super heavyweight. I'd have to cut weight to get in there. I'm so fucking – But, like, Volk, what's the, he, 145? Yeah, yeah right? then he yeah, can get he up fights. to 200, right? Well, yeah, or is that well, – He probably hasn't been there for a while. Okay. But, like – 145 is like 67 kilos. Mm. Yeah. It's even less. Yeah, that's insanely It's long. so small. Yeah. Like, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. But then he's a fucking... He'll just maul anyone. He's a tank when he gets in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Izzy one was uh, <laughs> unexpected. But to be honest, and you and Eddie... I mean, me and Eddie, because we, we don't know what the fuck... Like, we kind of didn't know what to expect even when they were calling out the result. Yeah. I wasn't even like, oh, he definitely lost this. I just was kind of confused at what was going on. Yeah, it was a bit rattling. And then, like... To have him knocked in the first, I think, I don't know, I, I mean, I can't speak for him, but it was probably the bit rattling and confidence losing. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, I think, like, I'm obviously watching it from a very big Israel fan. Yeah, and, you're biased. You know, yeah, and, like, it's so shit that there's so much hate for someone who is so incredible in the time and – um the effort and the to, to discipline to just fucking be the best all the time. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, like who, who knows what happened. And like you just being quiet and Izzy hasn't spoken yet, but another one. Mm-hmm. Um, I just like, it just sucks. It sucks that that's how it is. And yeah. now we're just so like, yeah, hey, fucking Strickland, yeah. And then like, like I know Izzy's very, a bit controversial and speaks his mind, but like I fucking, like that bloke, 
is the most incredible person mm. and very unique, like one of one, you know. Mm. And it's like we are lucky to be in the same time where we get to watch him yeah. in that fucking arena, you know, do that thing. Even though he didn't win, it's like it is incredible that there's someone like that. That's what we, we were saying before the fight. We were like, dude, it's so hectic that Israel Adesanya is going to be fighting in there in like you yeah. know, an hour or whatever the hell it was. Yeah, like, yeah. He's such a fucking legend. I wonder whether the hate of Izzy is more to do with the fact that he beat Rob Whitaker and that he was – like I feel like maybe there's a bit more of that than it's like – again, I could be wrong – because I hated when he beat Robert Whitaker, but mm. like whether that's a bit more of the like, because you know, like there's the shit talking, and that's just a natural like you beat our boy sort of thing. But then he's there's, kind of our boy in Australia because Strickland's a yank. So yeah, like yeah. It's, I don't know. I just it's just such, a, but that's fucking sport, mate. Especially yeah. here, like everyone wants to hate on fucking people doing well, and when they're not, it's just like fucking kick him, let's go. Yeah, you, like, you can't you can't control it. People hate Djokovic. And he's the greatest player of all time, and like you know, you can you can nitpick and go, I don't like. I hate him because he he wants to be liked so badly. I'm like, oh, that's what a what a what a horrible what a what horrible yeah. thing for him to do. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. People are like, fuck that guy. Yeah, you know what it's I mean? actually fascinating. I'm like, what is he? What is he actually done? Mm. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, not much. Not like much. Yeah. so, I think there's things that just like, you can that Izzy does that can get people offside. Like there's like anything. Yeah. But then I think it might have started potentially with him get beating Whitaker. Whitaker at his peak, and it just fucking. I think we got we, that annoyed us or got people offside initially. Yeah, potentially. But then, like, I think it's also the the height he has climbed to. Mm. He's in front of so many more people. Yeah. So you're gonna get the shit as well. Yes. Tall poppy. Because you just like, yeah. No matter how fucking incredible, and he could be like. But that's what's fascinating about Volk. Is like I don't know anyone that hates Volk. Mm. No. Like there's no but one, they but worldwide, like on the, except no, but, for the. But they hated him on the when he was coming up, up which is actually he was the opposite. Holloway and shit. Yeah, and it was like that's our boy. Fuck, fuck. But then it was like after the third fight, and then he's gone on, and he's like, you know. And I think it was even with DC when it was like DC and John Jones, and it was like John Jones is the man, but he was a piece of shit, and DC yeah. was this nice dude, but he couldn't beat him. And then at just some point, it flips where it's like, oh, you know. Whereas it's kind of gone in reverse a little bit. Yeah. But I still feel like most people like Izzy. I don't know. It's very, know. it's public sentiments change. It's flimsy. It's weak. Oh, it's, and yeah, it'll yeah. change fucking on quickly. A oh, yeah. On a dime. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to do And it just sort of shit. shifts. And it's funny because people are all, there just seems to be an agreement on certain things without even necessarily talking to well, people yeah, it just about it. sort of starts happening. And then just starts oh, happening. Oh, fuck, we hate this out of sun, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 exactly but right. Ah, uh, but he's fucking, he's incredible. Yeah, what was the time like you, when you went over to New Zealand? Didn't you go and film something? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we went and filmed him and then, yeah, went to went to Miami and... Uh, yeah, Miami, yeah, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, when he beat was... Pereira and he knocked him out? Yeah. That must have been one of the great things to witness. I, like... I was fully expecting the same energy on Saturday as I did in Miami, right? Yeah. And then I broke it down and I was like, Miami was like, Trump was there mm. in Miami. So it's like his fucking area. Yeah. Like there's 20,000 people in there. No one. <laughs> uh, there's 20,000 people there. <laughs> I feel bad now. Who, um, well, at least I'm fucking saying it as it comes out. <laughs> Kids <laughs> popping off. <laughs> um, <laughs> um yeah, because there's like, there's 20,000 people there going, USA. Like, just, it was like the energy was just building. Yep. And then, you know, Izzy had everything on the line to beat him again. Like, it mm. was so fucking huge. Yeah. Yep. And obviously, it's my first ever UFC. Everyone's just fucking, you know, it's all, everything's amazing. Mm. And then, um, there we go. Um, yeah, it got to like midway through, oh, just, just the start of the second round. Mm. And like all the city kickboxing guys are just like, like you can hear there's something about to happen. Like you can just like feel it. And then fucking, he's up on the fence and everyone's like, oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> yeah. And it was just like, like two of the boys got like passed out from screaming. Oh. <laughs> and then like, everyone's like, there's bets going on. So blokes are like, Tyson's fucking going, give me your fucking money to old mate who said Pereira would win. And oh, like, shit. <laughs> and then we've all gone out the back. We've all gone like waiting to get the call to go down and see him. Yeah. And there's like fucking 20 of us. No way they're going to let 20 just fucking, you know, Rowdy. fans yeah. basically yeah. go down and see Izzy right in the, you know. And so there was like, like, you know, all those boys. And then they're like, you can have two. 
two boys can come down and see him. And so Tyson and Michael Venom Page were like, yeah, we're going. I'm like, hey, Tyson, I'll remember this. Fuck you. And he goes, no, no, come. I was like, what? <laughs> fucking, he goes, can we just see if Ned can come? And so they, the fucking like UFC head of fucking security. Yeah. Like channeled through um, Ned Brockman. Uh, yep, all good. I'm like, Heck what? <laughs> Walk down, like out the back, like Trump, fucking Rogan, Theo Vaughn. All down there. All down there, just fucking. Oh. And I'm like, what is happening? I'm just trying to like take it all in. How far away are you from Trump and Rogan? Like here. What the Me you. fuck? Wow. Yeah, and, but he had like five security just ushering him out. Yeah. Um, and then like, I don't know if you saw, but like Gilbert Burns was there. Wait, is that who you thought? But I like went... <laughs> I like thumbs up him and he's, he's waving he, MVP. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> hand back in the pocket. <laughs> There's footage of it too. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh. like, yeah. <laughs> As if he fucking knew me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most embarrassing thing in my life. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. And then that was just like, that set the scene for the night. Like, the... Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, you were like, did you go to like the nightclub and shit where they were all at? Yeah. But, but like, it was like I somehow. Him and Kamaru and they were all like dancing, just looking cool as shit. Tito Ortiz stood on my arm. Well, I was in like the booth, right? And I'm like, hanging. Like, <laughs> it was Ortiz so fucked, mate. I'm in, I'm in 11 nightclub in Miami. Mm. Like, Izzy Seki's. Like, I tried to make sure I was very known. Like, hey yeah, guys, yeah, how you yeah. going? I'm there. I'm with the, with the crew. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as you rock up, there's like the VIP line for like only the fighters and stuff. And then like Izzy's sec, he's like, yeah, come on, bro. Walk into this booth that would been worth so much fucking money. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just sitting in there with like Tyson Pedro and MVP waiting for everyone else to come through. Um, Yeah, it was fucking That's loose. Wild. And then yeah, Tito Ortiz, like Kamaru, fucking okay, everyone's coming in. Chuck Liddell. Well, oh, yeah, I saw Chuck Liddell. Chuck like, yeah. Liddell. Yeah. And like Chuck's like just pouring vodka in everyone's cup and shit. It was so funny. And then- yeah, I get someone stood on my arm who was up on the top of the booth and I'm like, turn around, like, fuck you, you know? Like, I look up and Tito Ortiz is like staring down at me. And I was like, put his foot back on my arm. Like, <laughs> the fuck, mate? Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, it's all right. Just break nah, it. It's fine, all good. It's all good, mate. Just, just keep It's like the biggest head. Yeah, like, he's huge. A wild Are you boy, talking boy. to these cunts? No, I'm just like, I'm like, part, like you know, you're, it's so loud and yeah. like, you, you're just like, yeah, here you go. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm dead. What can you do? Nah, it's just like, they got no fucking idea. They're all maggot. It's all fun. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, yeah, pretty long. How long are you there for? At the uh, um, I walked out of 11 at 7 a.m. Oh, oh nice. you, had a, you put in a big shift. Yeah, went in, went out of the country. I mean, I had to go there. and You had to. You had to. Had I to. Think you, you, no, but you were obligated. Yeah. I think you said that when you were, I think you might have done a stream this before you left and you were like, this is my rip. I'm yeah. Going. It's the only, like, I, I'm not great. Like, I, I was obliged. I had to. Yeah, you had to. There's nothing Especially about that. after that fucking win. Like, yeah. You have to. Oh. But also, you've you've been invited. You're fucking, you're downstairs. You're in the chair. Imagine. You're seeing Trump. Yeah. You're getting into the, like, you you have an obligation. Yeah. To us. To yeah, us. Yeah. To, to everyone mm. that's a fan of the sport and ripping and tearing generally to have a crack. Yeah. Yeah, like, it was, um, it was fucking... Very, like, never happens again sort of thing. Well, who knows? Until the next one. Until the next one. <laughs> yeah. When you went downstairs after the fight and there's just the three of you, what, did you go into the room? Like, is it just you there sitting with him? Like, So they let us into the – Um, this is this is a wig out. They let us into, like, where the ring is, right? And so they walk you through. And there's, like, the tunnel that they all come out. Obviously, that goes back out to where they all go. Yeah. Mm. Um, so we're walking out and just there was Theo Vaughn. And then they've got this like set up. So as soon as the fighters walk out, they have to do an interview at this stand. Yep. It's like a big thing and the, the interviewer's is there. So there's, they're there. And I've walked out with Tyson MVP and then we're just shaking hands. Pereira walks past and I'm like, holy shit. Like, what the fuck? Trying to like work it all out. And I'm like, once you're in there, it's fine. But to get down in there, they're very, very strict. Like yeah. you've yeah. got to be cleared. You can't be any like, but once you're in there, they don't care yeah. because yeah. they're like, oh, well, they've got in there. Obviously, been they're obviously in, yeah. okay. Uh, and so we're walking around <laughs> and then like Frank Hickman, who is the, one of the grapplers who owns Bangtown Muay Thai, he trains them all. He's there. He goes, fuck you doing here. <laughs> it's like, beats me. <laughs> <laughs> and then keep walking through. I met Izzy's manager and in Izzy's two managers, Tim and Ash. Uh, they're like, oi. The fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck beats me. Uh, and so I'm like hanging out with them all. And then um, 
someone, I don't know who it was, was like, hey, you know, you're his mates, come and, come and see him as soon as he gets off the chat. Because, you know, mm. they do like a chat at the end with like Poria and stuff. Yep. They talk about the post fight um, up on the thing. And they were doing this thing outside and we're all standing there. And I write about it in the book, but I'm standing there behind tight. Like I'm feeling like I do not deserve to be here right now. Like mm. of all people to be waiting for Izzy to go and fucking congratulate, <laughs> yeah. Ned Brockman should not be one. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, and so I'm standing behind and I remember in the lift in Izzy's house when I went and met him before the fight, I something came out of me and I were in the lift and I go, you don't know this yet. But this moment was meant to happen for me, and at some point you will. Yeah. And he goes, like you could see it. Like he goes, I've had like he has those thoughts as in well. His head. Yeah. And I was like, I felt I had to tell him. Yeah. And he just goes, Do you want to come to Miami? And I was like, Yeah. And he goes, Sick. And then we kind of like talked about. It. He's like, Just like the, there's an energy, there's a presence, there's a something. You've just got to feel it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bit woo woo, bit fucking. No, nah, but go. dude, you guys like to be to do the shit you guys do. Like, yeah, there's something. And to so it. I was like, something, something's fucking weird here. And so, like, I doubled down on Izzy in the second round because I was like, he's 100 percent winning. Like, there's something so energetic about yeah. it. A mm. fucking 200 bucks on him at 17 dollars. Nice. Yeah. That's. And fantastic. then I don't. I never gamble, but like that, I was like, that is a sure win. Yeah. yeah. Which was fucking weird. Yeah. Um. And I'm standing there. Izzy gets off, puts the headphones off and walks around. And Tyson, Pedro and MVP are standing there and I'm behind him. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, Ned, Ned. And he's like pointing at me. And I was like, me? And he goes, yeah. And I was like, oh. So I come through, there's like a video of it. I come through the middle and he goes, um, the energy brother, uh, the ma like talking about the magic and the energy yeah, and shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, it's like, I, I was just trying to like go, what the fuck is happening? Like, yeah, yeah. And then they, he hugged everyone and he goes off. And then he walks off with the belt and there's like two UFC main security guys. Um, his two managers and like a few others trying to work out where he goes. Me, Tyson, MVP, walk into this lift. We're in this fucking lift with the champ. Like everyone's talking about him right now. And it's quiet, dead quiet in this lift. And I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Went on dead ears. I kid you not. It was the most cringe fucking moment of my whole entire life. And I'm like, oh my God. And it just came out. Like it was like, this is, this is, this is my biggest regret in my life. <laughs> I kid you not. It was like, and I could not, I could not be smaller if I tried. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh rushing for you, bro. Oh. I wanted to die right, oh. right then and there. No one said a thing. No one said a thing. And then the lift opens and I just like wanted to fucking drop in the little gap between the lift. <laughs> so I was felt it, I would have if I fucking stepped on it. Was there any, was it spoken of again? No. Or was it just like. Just ignored. Just that ignored. was it. And then like the only person did, did was the security guard that just goes. <laughs> that was it. That was it. No one said a thing. Oh. Like I had, like, well, Alex, did you did you give oh, it? Was it a big I'm, one? I'm about to cry about it now. But was it a yeah, big? Was it a yeah, big one? Yeah, it was like. It did, was you, did you carry it out? Let's go <laughs> longer than you would like to. Like I'd like to admit. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, Eddie. Oh. oh. Anyway, you've just undone all your good energy work. I know. After the I fight literally it did, and then I'm like, you couldn't just hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was going to be like I didn't see that coming. I oh, thought no. that was like full circle, no, like no, back no. to the lift. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. back in lifts. No, oh, yeah, yeah but that's that's what was happening in my head. Yeah, that right. was like, oh my god, like what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, what do you reckon? I mean, he we still we still you? talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon he was thinking? Oh. Uh, like, I, I reckon he was pretty composed and like, I don't reckon he thought much of it, but I reckon like Ash and Tim and like Tyson and shit were like, no, Tyson was pretty buckled. He wouldn't have fucking known, but um, everyone else would have just been like, oh, uh, <laughs> probably not right. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if anyway. there is something about that. Like there's this weird, like, was, I mean, it is still sort of like, why the fuck's everyone just silent? Yeah, I know. I know. are awkward as fuck. Obviously more awkward now that you're making that fucking <laughs> Part of me like, I don't know. I think because it, it was, right? And part of me felt just like, 
I don't know. It, it came. I didn't intentionally do it, yes. but it did. It came. And out it happened. Yeah. yeah. And I cannot take that back. No. You and know that what? Is though, etched dude? in my brain. Look, you'll never recover from that. Obviously, no. like at least like in your like you will be <laughs> returning to that moment for the rest. You'll of be your you'll life. be returning to the lift. Yeah, like on your oh. deathbed, you'll be like, I had a good life. What's my like, regrets? Fuck, Who have I got to call? I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Oh God! But like you, it came from a place of authenticity. You weren't being a let's go guy. You know, no, you no, weren't no, no, being no, no, like no. a fucking Yankee sort of like. It was. It was you honestly. Felt it. it was like the little kid from Bajerabong has. Mm. He's run across Australia. He's in Miami. He's at the biggest UFC two fucking date. He's in a lift with the champ. He's just, you know, everything was coming to the head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And at that moment, yeah. it felt so right to scream a let's go. Yeah, yeah. And it was met with nothing. Yes. Yeah. But I can see how you arrived at the yeah, let's you, go. Yeah, you know, you know. It's no, just, no, no that, makes, that makes sense. That's an, you've had an emotional day. You yeah, know, it was like me fucking linguistically coming. Yeah. Yeah. That yes. Was, then spiritually, yeah, and emotionally. Oh, right? anyway, I'm glad I got that out to the world. It's, it feels like a weight off my that's shoulders. That's cathartic. Yeah, now dude. everyone knows. Oh yeah. god, that's oh. Huge, embarrassing. Dude. No, that's huge. That's, dude, that's that's bad. That's as bad yeah. as it gets. But, but it's good. But it's good, and, and at least you're still. Mates. I've learned from that. Yeah. Like I'll probably you never are. do dude, that. Dude, you have to bring that up with him at some point. Yeah, it's That'd in the funny. it's in the book. But I didn't not like, the piss take, but to him, not no. That 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 moment isn't in the book. Oh, isn't it? I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, well, it doesn't need him in the book. No, that's true. Oh, I liked it. I liked the week. I liked, liked the week. Yeah, we were that. all hearing about that. One that too. feels right that you tell Dude. that. Dude, that feels right. Now, it feels cathartic. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny oh, though. Is like, it a therapy session now. Therapy <laughs> session. Yeah, that's, that's as tough as it gets. So, but you weren't you weren't invited backstage this time. Uh, no more no, lift work. I, um, my tickets had. I got my tickets through Ash, thankfully, so that that isn't ruined. Yeah, okay, um, that. That's I nice. think he still likes me, which is good. Good, yeah. good. Uh, no, nah, he's a legend, Ash. So I just, yeah, Ash is Izzy's manager. Yep. Um, he is with Engage. Um, he, yeah, fucking legend. I just said, if you've got any tickets, I, you know, love to come along. And love to come along, but I'm happy to you know, stay out they, of the lift this time. Yeah, I won't go out the back. How's that? No. Did you um, get, did I see you a photo with Theo Vaughn out the back as well? Yeah. Did you meet near those? Was he like the? Yeah, that's who I met. I, did I, you I get chatted a to mullet? him. Like, was there any mullet fucking chat between the two? Or is he just like, hey, I like, man? I hate getting like I'm a I'm terrible at like I'm very live in the moment. So getting a photo with someone or very like like I struggle with that. Like yeah. only mm. Tyson goes, hey, let's get a photo, and I was like, mm. oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Right. I'm not a huge ass for a photo. No, but. like even the first time I met Izzy, um. The guys were leaving after the interview and I was like, I was hanging around a bit and then they'll go, do you want a photo before you go? And I'm like, oh yeah. But like for me, I'm like, it, it, I'll, that'll happen. And like getting the photo is like whatever. Yeah, you know meeting what I mean? is the, the thing. Yeah, so meeting and then and make a connection and like yeah. how have we met? Oh, we've met because of this, not I'm a fanboy of you. I like yeah. the idea of like meeting someone because you've earned that. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Absolutely. So like, yeah, my photos on my phone, like a, a trip to America or whatever, it ends up just being fucking plane shots or dogs or something because mm. it's like, it's never about, oh, look at this, look who I met, you know? Yeah. And I always get shit because my team are always like, did you get that? Or I'm like, oh, fuck. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I met, I met, yeah, I met Theo and like, oh yeah, I met some fucking, it was very, such a wig out that night. Just I like bet. going like, what the fuck is happening? But yeah, it was, um, it was a bit of a who's who at that one. It was a few, few celebs that are, the one on the weekend, but well, it's a lot. It's a lot further Very away. It's a lot Very further different. away. And like the way we went to Perth for Volk Islam, and that the energy there on that night, mm. or that day rather, was like insane. Yeah, comes out to land down under. Yeah, that's it's fun. for the fucking it's for the champ champ status. Like it was biblical. Huge. How good was the roar that Volk got in the crowd oh, on bro. the weekend? That was so good. That was almost one of the loudest roars of the whole. He's night. such a king. Yeah. Probably was. Now I don't know. I don't know if you know this, Brockman. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but our producer over there, Tommy Tobler, yeah, okay. has um, he's 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 flatlined a bit, yep. and he was super confident going into this weekend like a month ago, he and wouldn't. he had K's on the fucking board, and he and he and he almost just assumed that he'd get Tom's time, and he and he had eyes on me, and he was super confident of doing like a four twenty five, and he was just the fucking king of the world. And are you aware of what the stakes are if he doesn't? Oh, big pants, yeah. yeah. Pants. Big pants. There's also some money involved, but big pants is the is, that's it, the key. That's the key. Yeah, he 
had a rip and a tear for his birthday and got no runs in. He reckons he's worked like a dog, even though it doesn't he work. He basically hasn't run since his rip and a tear. For yeah, his birthday. and and he tried to do thirty k's and he and he would, he did twenty two at six thirty. He's almost killed him. So, <sighs> have you got any advice for a kid who needs to avoid baggy pants? Staring down the barrel of 42.1 of the best in potential 30 degree heat. Oh, she's looking 32. Well, Tot. my wife. 32. Oh, shit. Yeah. See, I told you that. It'll we- be sweat city. They, no one knows. No one knows. My wife said that to me as well, and then he said it was wrong, and I, now I don't know. I think it's going to be hot. Um, in terms of advice? Yeah. He's up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah. I think um, what what's a 6.30... Marathon. Yeah, what's that? Six. If you do six thirties, and Don't you, but you'd also be saying if you're doing six thirty twenty two, by the time you're hitting forty, you may be slowing down. I'm yeah, pretty sure Jesus. Tom's was seven forty average. You've um, you've shredded some kegs though. Yes, yes. I've been so putting a lot help. of emphasis on that. So I think that'll pay dividends. Come. What are you weighing in at now? Eighty four point four yesterday. Mm. Down yeah. from ninety eight. It's hectic. You're we're the same weight. Are we really? Yeah. There you go, mate. That's so you, so well, you're that's running it. You're running it. So that's you a tick in the box. You got a two fifty nine in. That's a tick in the box. Yeah. Fucking oath. <laughs> Got to break three. Yeah. So listen, what I'm hearing is that Brockman doesn't have anything for him, really. <laughs> I've got <laughs> fucking nothing. He's got nothing. Well, I think I think you got to hold on. You got. I reckon you just got to work out what a five hour thirty marathon is, or whatever. Whatever. Yeah, you I think a five thirty, five thirty, five. He, Four, he five twenty five. Okay. Twenty five. Yeah, I'd be I'd be sticking to like whatever a five ten marathon is. And then when you get to like 35k, you've just got to buy the. You've got to hang on. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, because My, it's gonna be. But in saying that, a lot. Have you been doing your runs alone? Yeah. Like, there's nothing like a fucking crowd. Yeah. Or a group of people pulling you along. Yeah. Um. Could yeah, you'll run quicker at the start, and you'll be like, "This is a piece of piss." Yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm gonna keep an eye out for. Then as you well. hit Centennial Park, mate. You're gonna be dusted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll start Cramp cramping City, up big yeah. time. Yeah. Big time cramping. Yeah. Do you get do you get cramps? No, nah. no, nah. no. I don't reckon I've ever had one running. Really? That must be nah. nice, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Big salt guy. Mm. So yeah. That, well, see, no one told. No one really brought up cramps to us last year. We just sort of fucking. Well, and that was probably a little bit naive on our part to think that you, well, we wouldn't cram. That was madness. I just didn't know it was even a thing. <laughs> You know, I mean, like, because you know, no, no but you were a winner, but that's what I mean. You I've cramped like before in my life, in but I wasn't sure that, like, running again, maybe that was because I hadn't run enough in the lead up. But, like, I didn't know running and cramping, yeah. like, I didn't think it was, oh, yeah, you're gonna hit this point. Your whole what was your furthest down. run prior to the marathon? 16 or 15k. 15. I reckon you're right, Tom. Yeah, I think so. So, I've just looked into it. Tom's no baggy pants was 749 average splits, 749, and Eddie's yours is like 617. Yeah, I feel like so, but, but what, could be but, what you, but what you'll I, do, what you'll do is though, and you got to you got to factor this in, is you'll end up walking through every aid, every fucking <clears> aid yeah. station and stopping for water and gels and shit. You won't you won't run I, through them. Do you walk through the? Yeah, aid you, you, I guarantee yeah, you. you I guarantee you, you, you will you'll be walking through. You'll them. want one. Yeah, one okay. thousand percent. I've seen they're putting more not, on. Not the ones at the start. The ones at the end, cunt. When it's thirty-two degrees, you'll be walking through. Or crawling. I would. You know what I do? Here's my only tip. Don't walk. At a aid station until you hit thirty k. Yep. Thirty. Get to thirty. Okay. Yeah. Don't fucking walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's go. what. That's when we started. That's, that's when, when that's I started walking tip. at the thirties. Yeah. And just fucking. And then like when you do give yourself that walk, like give it like thirty seconds of walking. Yeah. Like just fucking give yourself like an exact amount, no more. Yep. Yeah. Then back into it. Can't and then just fucking start running again. And there's two more k's and then. Oh. Yeah. Because it two like. More k's and, uh, the sad and hard thing is about, like, it sounds so simple, but it is, like, the biggest fuck in the head is that, like, when you aren't moving, you're not getting any close to that fucking finish line. Mm. And, like, you think, oh, I'm going to get better, but if I rest for another 10 minutes, it just never helps. Because you're going to be in that much fucking pain. Yeah. Yeah. You're just prolonging it. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit of marathon advice from three <laughs> marathon runners. Yeah, from yeah. three – Powerful marathon. Yeah. Well, from three marathon ambassadors, shout out to City Marathon. Yeah, shout out to City um, Marathon. Quick one on that. Mm. How's your speech preparation for uh, I Sunday morning? I haven't started. No. Are we going off cuff? Probably. Yeah, I think so. There'll be some, there'll be some themes. I think also <laughs> I'm conscious of the fact that- And know, it won't go for long. No, at that, that hour of the day- Do you have a requirement? Like how long has to be? It can't no, be longer than so. five minutes. 
fuck, five minutes would be And I said, minutes. that's too long. Do you that's have to go? I'm thinking a minute, two. Minute 15. You right? just want to get people up and about. Oh, then they want to go back to up. stretching and pooing. Yeah, we can't go for long. You, is there a designated Hello Sport shitter? No, we asked for that. That was a bridge too That would far. be huge. Oh, well, the problem is that it probably end up being worse because that yeah. thing would get fucked. Oh, that flogged. thing would get pounded. And oh. I, th- I hope they've just got more shitters down there for the punter and the dribbler. We are actually going to be... They've, they've logistically they've done some things for us, some powerful things. Yeah, I'm not going to say what it is. Nah. Do you um? What time do you get there in the morning? In the we're going to get Bradley, what? Bradley. We're get there at six fifteen for a safety briefing. That's all I'll say. Yeah, that's it. Safety nice. briefing. Literally. I'll see you there. Oh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on. I'm in the goers. So. Yeah, you are. I just don't. Oh, so you're running. You're in top. the goers. I'm in it. You can't wear the car. You can't wear the um the because of the because, because of the branding. Oh, okay. But like. I'm a, You're a member. Go. You're a goer. Yeah. We could tape over it. NRL fucking logo style. How did that run I saw you do in the park the other day? Not the one we did together, but the one for Puma. Oh, sick. So good. So what was that for? What's happening with that? Uh, we're just doing, it's just like product, um, get people in Puma shoes mm. um, and a hat and kit. And yeah, just like seating, getting people in shoes. Yeah. Um, but they're all picked at random. We had like... I think there's a certain number of people you can have to run around Centennial before you have to front up a bit of cash to Centennial Park. Oh, okay. So we were capped at 200. Um, you got 200 though. Mate, we had- Fucking shitloads of people there. We had over 1,500 people sign up. Really? For the chance to be picked to in come around. Sydney, yeah. To sign up. Sick. Yeah. So we had to just like fucking pick at random. Um, but it was really cool. And like what was really special about that was like, it's not, it wasn't necessarily my mates. It wasn't- people who I know it was like people who were inspired by what I did mm. and they all had a story about their journey to whatever. Mm. <clears throat> and I had some bloke come up and go, mate, I have lost 60 kilos since October 17th, which is Ooh. when I finished the run. He saw me run into Bondi and he's like, I've got to do something. 60. Lost 60 kilos. Holy shit. That is insane. That's, I was like, oh, he goes, yep, done my first, first half marathon. I'm going to run the Sydney marathon. I'm like, dude, you're fucking bringing a tear to my eye. Like this is – and like people, like some bloke brought Biltong down and I was like, oh, is this yours? He goes, nah, from the butcher. And I'm like, what? And he goes, oh, I really struggle in um, like social scenarios. I'm really anxious. And I didn't know how to speak. And I was so nervous when you came up to me and I was, you know, I'm so in awe of you. I didn't know what to say. So I just gave you Biltong. I knew that that would be my way to engage with you. Oh. I was like, dude, like you're so like, and these, that's, all these stories. That's I'm really like, sweet. Yeah. I was like, fuck me. Like. That he messaged me that later. And yeah. I'm like, Cause I was like, why did this guy give me built on from a butcher? Mm. You know what I mean? And then, but like shit like that. And I was like, this is what it's all about. Mm, definitely. Like, fuck the, you know, the run across Oz, like, it's great. And the other things, it's great. But like, it's fucking, it's getting people doing shit mm. and living their life and actually enjoying stuff. You know, yeah. like it's, it's fucking cool. Yeah. That um, is, like motivating people to come down and engage, be engaged with yeah. something and some idea. There's and, people know. there who didn't know anyone and then mm. all of a sudden they're speaking by the end of it and engaging and doing this yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, that's what it's all about. That's cool. So sick. Yeah. It's fucking mad. It'll be like that the Ivy. Oh, yeah, big time. That'll be, <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you, are you coming time. to the Ivy? I'll be the Ivy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good. We'll be at the Ivy. I, I'd say I'll have a fair bit to do media-wise, but I'll, I'll be at the Ivy. Yeah, what yeah, do you have to do? Like what? Like, Well, I've got – are you going to the – there's a – What's it called? Don't know. It's like a, a press conference on oh, Friday. Yeah. We oh, can't. No, we've we can't got um we've got other obligations. Yeah. Right. We've got, we've got a golf so, day. We've got a golf day. So oh, we were over, just pulled out of. I know, I read, I said we're in big trouble. <laughs> oh, trouble, trouble. Yeah, yeah, the hacker. Hacker major. Nice. We are we, I think we've talked about this before, but we we're going to the drinks the night before. You didn't get invited to that, yeah, did you? Yeah. Oh, is that a is that a Maryvale thing? No. Dunno. It's in the rocks. Uh, you know, like it's just a bit. You didn't get, you just didn't, for the, just for I don't the think dinner? you got a bait, did you? Just dinner? No, a cocktail thing. It's like with the Premier or something. Uh, I, don't I don't know. Oh, Minzy. Yeah, Minzy. Oh, is that who like, I'm doing the Q&A with the next day? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we yeah, got a Minzy's like, for like home. <laughs> oh, right. His wife's yeah, put on a meal. Yeah, 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 it's a Minzy's. Minzy's putting on a spread. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a microwave dinner. At Minzy's. At Minzy's. Mate, Minzy's a close personal friend. Yeah, yeah. Is he been on? Been on the no, pod? no. We have, we're just sort of getting through the logistics of it all. But Minzy will be on at some point soon. I think. Yeah, it's like you know, it's just like security and like yeah, yeah, yeah. you I know, clearance and stuff. Stuff. I get it. Stuff. He was actually at the uh, at the Biffs. 
Was gone. he? Yep. Was Menzi there? Well, did he beat him? Because Menzi. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Menzi, Menzi paid for him. Yeah, but did Minzy pay for him or were they paid for pre Minzy? No, no, no. Because pre Minzy, yeah. the Liberal government was like, that is uncouth, vulgar, fucking yeah. beast. Yeah, yeah. Beastly. Then, bestiality. Bestiality. And Minzy said FTA. Bestiality is when you fuck animals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Right, so not bestiality. But it was they they didn't like it. Yeah. And then Minzy came in. Bar-baric. Yeah, but Barrick. Yeah. Bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> then Minzy came in and goes, fucking oath can't. But he hasn't even been in for that long, has he? He's just nah, going, he's a big UFC. What did happen? Great, love and that. you know that we know Minzy personally. I know. I just hadn't. I guess I hadn't picked his brain about it as much. Well. <laughs> I think I was just drunk last time we spoke about it. Yeah, he has good reds. Minzy loves. He all does. Mine. He does. The book. Wait, how long you been? How long you been on this book? Ned Bright when showing up. Um. Yeah. So basically, we had I'm fucking skinny on the cover. I know. Be gaunt. There's some photos in here where you look like you're fucking battered and bruised. Fucking mate. photos too. Some absolute it's rips good, like, and the, book, the book's fucking great. I didn't... I mean, I was nervous as shit too, like, putting out a book. Like, it's pretty personal. Yeah, for sure. Um, And you talk about stuff and I don't know. We... I just want people to pick it up. Like, it's not going to be... It's not going to be, you know, 12 steps to this. It's not going to be a... Are you going to change your life if you read it? But I hope that when you read it, you go... Fuck, this is a kid who's taken opportunities because they're there, not, you know, had something that went bad and now I've got it, you know, I'm, I'm doubling down and making my life better. It's yeah, like yeah. Yep. we're all, a lot of us, and if we're listening to this or we're, you know, in an opportunity to buy that book, we're privileged and we have access to things that people don't. Mm. So use that and, and use your life circumstances to do good. Yeah. That's all I'm, that's all I want from that. I'm just trying to find the photo of us. In yeah, it's, it's in there <laughs> Did you, how long did this take you? Um, probably like six months total in time. Like had a, a, it's ghost written. So a good friend, Jess, who did a good friend now, mm. um, she did an article on me with men's health. She used to work for men's health. Yep. And, um, yeah, she just fucking wrote a sick article and I only spoke to her for like 30 minutes and it came, I was like, you were right. So good. And then as soon as we got approached by a few book companies, um, we went with Simon and Schuster and I was like, they, they were like, do you have someone in mind or do you want us to outsource it? And we're like, I was like, oh, actually, Jess. And then, so we just like did a podcast on each chapter. She would then transcribe it and then she would write it into the story and then we'd go over it and go, yeah, this is good. You'll change this. Yep. You know? um, so it was, it was quite a lot, but it was also a lot of reflection too, like trying to think about and bring up these memories. I probably was suppressing a bit. Yep. Um, uh, like life shit or nah, from, the, from the run itself? More from the run probably, like- yeah. You know, the back end of it, I was like, um, yeah, probably thinking, like bringing up things and then stuff would come up about how I thought and how my mind was feeling and how this was it, like that I'd probably pressed away yep. to not think about. Mm. Um, but there's stuff about like school and it's more just a book of how my kind of life's evolved and shaped into being wanting to do. And obviously people want to read about the run. So yep. half of it's about the run. Yeah. The rest is leading up to it and. Um, the kind of things that shaped me. Did you did you go back and like watch old footage from the run? Like how did you sort of trigger your brain to think about things? Or did you have notes? Was that difficult to like to remember? Because I can't remember what the fuck I did last week. Yeah, yeah. And I know that was, I know it's different running across the country, but like, did you find it we hard We had a big to- week last week though and I can't remember it either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know? Um, well, because my Instagram post each day was my jo- journal entry. They were great. So that was they were my, the best, bro. That was my. That's me. Like everyone goes, oh, who wrote them for you? And I was like, it's fucking me. Mm. I put emphasis on wanting to do that every night, so people understood exactly how I felt. Yep. Fucking love doing that. Like that's my part of me. Like now too, when I'm like just in my day to day, like I don't post much. I fucking hate it. Like I really struggle at posting, but I know so many people want to see it, and it's it's just a catch twenty two because I also am not doing the thing that. You would that they got that got yeah. in, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. like, it's just oh, it's not interesting. Um, but yeah, like th- those, they're the most. That's fucking what it's about. And I, like the, some of the stuff I was writing, I'm just like, this is what I'm feeling. So fuck you if you don't like it. But yep. I'm fucking posting it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went over those, and like I, I would spend a day on just like three different images because I'm like, tr- I'm like, oh my god, like that's right. I said that. Oh, this is how I felt. I had this. Right. This happened. Oh, actually, what actually happened? And we just go over it and. Yep. Um, really cool. And like, it's never going to be perfect. Like I, when I, as soon as we handed it in, I was like, oh, I should 
change this. I should mm. do this. And it's already in. And, and you so, can't. And yeah, you, can't. you can't. So it's there. It's written with the mindset of when I finished it, it's like that's how I was thinking. And then the next one will be how I'm thinking now. And like I'll always want to change something or yeah. I'm not happy with something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's a book where it'll get people to go, fuck, that's cool. I want to I want to do something. So every right. pre-sale book sold through my channel um, and not pre-sale as well, but when anything sold through my channel after it's released, uh, $5 goes straight to Mobilize. And so it just keeps fueling that. Um, so when's it released? Um, first week of October, which is going to be, um, it's coming around very quick. Fucking oath it is. It's a couple of weeks hell. away. It's yeah, It's scat. Very, very scat. <laughs> Nedbrockman.com. Nedbrockman.com. So if I'm a young dribbler yeah. who wants to read Showing Up by Ned Brockman, one of the great books of all time, I go to Nedbrockman.com. Nedbrockman.com. Pre-sale available. Pre-sale available. It's, it's been available for four months. So oh, thank okay, you, sweet. everyone who has bought it, because it has been, there's been quite a few people buy it. Sick. And, you know, buying it four months out is, you know, not getting something for what you pay for is a bit fucking frustrating, but it also mm. does help. So, yeah. As That's I said, mad. every $5, $5 from every book. Have you, have you had to fucking sign a shitload? I've got to sign 15,000. 15,000? <laughs> Big nuts. How long is that going to take? Fucking, who knows? 15,000? <laughs> Do you not just like get a stamp that looks? I'm, like a I'm like I've, I mean, obviously I've seen I your promised everyone. Stuff. I'm not going to write anything other than my signature. But yeah, it's still like oh, you seconds. can't write words, mate. That'd be fucked. No. Wow. Okay. I got and a big it, nudge. Big nudge. Wow. Dude, that's a huge wow. nudge. I just want to get your signature there as well. Fuck. Well, you've already signed two, mate. Yeah. Was well, there yeah, another no, one up excited. there? There's one. There is one oh, for yes. a dribbler. For a dribbler. All right. Well, we'll um, we'll try and work out a way. Right I really want to give it to a dribbler. Dribbler, run hard, root fast, and whatever you do, don't come last. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sick. All yeah, right. That's, we'll, that's, that's yours. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll work out. We'll work out a way to give that to. Is a it here. potentially potentially someone running this weekend? Yeah, we like that. I don't mind that. The quickest dribbler, or is it the dribbler that comes last? I think it's the dribble that comes last. Well, but what if oh, like people like, get swept why, why not like the, the middle, like the 250th dribble? Bang, that's yeah. it. Exactly that's the middle. Because exactly. how'd you know? Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like at trivia when like you know first, second, and second last gets a prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like, middle, bang, middle. Yeah, right, right in the middle. Like the middle dribble gets it. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, that's good. Um, what was it like meeting Goggins? Yeah, um, intense. It was cool, and that's in the book too. Uh, with it, with it, whatever I don't want to. No, nah, we can. It's cool. It's all good. It's all fine. I like it. Um, yeah, it was fucking. It was like the same moment with Izzy without the let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was like the you same energy, that in that the whole room was like, <clears throat> um, everyone was like praising Goggins, and everyone was like, "You're amazing. You've changed my life." Yep. And everyone paid, I think, five grand to see him. Jeez. Five thousand dollars each. Wow! For dinner, how many people were at dinner? Twenty. What sort? Of, what'd you eat? Hundred bickies. <laughs> I didn't pay. No. Um, what'd you eat though? What's it like? What's steak? The five was grand it Rockpool? Okay. Yeah. In the but city. Like, was it five thousand dollars worth of fucking? Steak? Oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, was it oh a good shit, steak? No. Uh, it was fucking terrific steak. Okay, but it wasn't. Um, I wouldn't put it in the five grand bracket. I don't know if there is a $5,000 stake. And is he just holding court the whole time or are people asking him shit? Nah, so basically we all got in, right? Like it was the event that I spoke at. Um, all these people got tickets to that as well. And then like mm. they could meet him at the thing as well. But the five grand ticket, I don't know. There's some people didn't, some people won it. Some people like, so maybe 10 of them, but Goggins still got his hundred grand or whatever mm. it was. Anyway, she probably shouldn't be saying all this, but anyway. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, so we are rocked up and everyone's like talking, everyone's all, you know, laughing and it's all fun. And and then we're all sitting down at the table. No, it's, he's not in there. And then the, the kind of um, coordinator and Ethan who runs the whole show, they were just like, look, everyone gets a chance to speak. Don't overwhelm and don't be some fucking fan, whatever. Mm. Like, just be normal. Like, cool. Ask him a question um, and you can ask him anything and he'll answer it. One each, okay? One each. Yep. Um. And then he walks in and everyone just fucking stops talking. And I'm like, okay, here we go. But it ended up, it's basically was a therapy session for four hours. Really? Because these people had paid this money to tell him 
that, oh my God, you're amazing what you've done for my life. How do you fix this? How do you fix that? How do you, it was so fascinating. Wow. And was it emotional? So heavy in there. Yeah, dude. I can't yeah, really? it was like people's like life stories. I was like, oh my God, like this is, like they're amazing. These people are amazing. The fact they're here, like they've used him as inspiration to yeah. fucking change their life. Yeah. You know? And like yeah. he would be, that would be way on like every fucking person's story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like around the table, everyone's telling their story and how like, you know, he's changed this, changed that. Gets this Irish guy, legend. He's like, you know, I've worked my ass off for years and years and years and my two daughters, I don't want them to have to go through what I've been through mm. to get there, blah, blah, blah. And then Goggins, so I'm already thinking about what I'm going to tell him. Because I don't want to go, oh, my God. Like, I, it was nothing about me meeting Goggins of, of like, oh, my God. Yeah. It was more just, like, equal shared mindset. Yeah. That's all it was. And then it gets this guy, and he's like, how do I protect them from um, life? Like, how do I protect them from not going through that? I want them to have an easy life the way they don't. And then Goggins just, like, looks at him and he goes, you can't protect them. This is what's made you, like, blah, blah, blah. You know what, motherfucker? You think this motherfucker shies away from doing shit? Points at me. I was like, he goes, how many fucking days? I was like, 46. He goes, how many Ks a day? I was like, oh, like fucking 85 to 100. And he's like, how many times you fucking, like how many hours you sleep? And I'm like, oh, sometimes like two hours a night. And he's like, two hours a fucking night. And turns back to him. And I was like, oh shit, he knows. Like (laughs) this motherfucker, like he's seen my shit. And I like, I thought someone like when he commented on my post, I thought it was like just someone on his account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, he fucking knows. Yeah. And so when it came around to me, I'm like, when you watered down what you went through in Hell Week, just so the masses can understand, I get it. Because mm. if you had to explain what you went through in those days, it would go so far over people's heads. Yeah. You would fucking sound like a masochist. Yeah. Like, I get that. And so I want to protect that. And when I speak to people like you, I feel there's an energy and he's like, oh, there's an energy here, brother. <laughs> and like, it felt like he just cut it in this room across this big fuck off table. It was fucking like nuts. That's sick. It was nuts. And then I went, um, what did I ask him? I think it was like, um, what do you hate most about Australians? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. everyone's like, you know, how does this? And it's like, I was just like, and then the uh, one guy next to me goes, when was the last time you cried? Which is really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was, uh, Intense as he comes off on on uh, social media, That's and just no who he bullshit is. about him. Like, yeah, he's just so intense. That would be tough to exist that level of intensity, though, right? Do you feel like there's is there any part of your like you're not an intense guy, right? But no. like you're trying to do, you're fucking working your dick to the bone most mm. days. Is there a part of you that has made a conscious decision to like not be intense like Goggins? Do you think he has a fucking choice, or is it like I don't think he has a choice. Yeah. I think his life is so now has to be like this, even mm. though it always has been for however long he now i don't think he has to hold up any face i think he is that person yeah like he doesn't have to be someone to all these people yeah. mm. um but i i think he really has a tough life for the next however until he drops yeah like he he will never ever see the beauty in so many things mm. um i don't he just I, red lines I, the whole zero time. comparison between goggins and like i can't draw any comparison because my desire and like the what he has done is incredible like don't get me wrong his ability to do what he has done and use his platform to whatever right Mm. fucking incredible but like there is zero in me wanting to be like that yeah it seems like there's just a part of him where i'm like and again like savage right You, you, you can't help but respect what he's doing but you're like jesus christ dude like would it kill you to smile? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but people see, like, go and like just see like just like just for a second. <laughs> yeah, but like, like I will never understand. Yes. I will never understand that guy. No, and I don't need to. Mm. I don't think anyone would. No, in the same way, very few people will ever understand what's going on in my head. Mm. Like that's not in a that's not in a oh, you know I'm I'm comparing myself to this or I'm this good or it's actually just like I struggle explaining this mm. to most people mm. so i don't talk about it yeah right yeah. like I, I i really on every keynote on every podcast like i can't talk about 
what goes on in there because it, it will just fall on deaf ears. Mm. There's no association, yeah, no okay. relatability in that it's just so – my desire to push myself in whatever just comes from a – I don't know whether it's a live life or a whatever point, but it's just like, yeah, it's a fucking – it's a weird one. It's, it's just a weird in one. there. Yeah. And so it's very different to him. But it's a similar sort of drive. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, it's a question, not a, like, do you know what I mean? Like it's different, but you're both sort of yeah. nutso in a little bit. Yeah. Well, I think there's, yeah, there's comparisons on that, but it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just very like. You seem like you can enjoy shit, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I think I, I've got to give myself time or out like yeah. I've, I've i've allowed myself i don't think he can allow himself to have that time out i don't think he does ever i don't think i don't think that's and and to be david goggins he can't no mm. nor would he ever want to but he actually can't because mm. through what he's been through what he's had to endure his whole life mm. he can't ever be like that mm. we're like i want to live so ferociously in the moment for a year and then i want to give myself six months and go now enjoy this and then mm. go back and do it again because mm. that's where you become Ned. Mm. Yeah. And then go and enjoy it again. When do you think you might do the next thing? September next year, locked in, confirmed. Locked in. Yeah. Locked in, confirmed. And is this the same thing we bleeped out from the last one? Has yeah. it changed? Nah, same thing. Same but thing. But not the same place. Yeah, okay. Different place. Um, does the uh, ferocious pursuit of chin ups uh, at the moment? have anything to do with it and will that even help in any way or you're just being a fucking animal on the on the pull-ups at the moment no that actually diverts my attention to something where i don't have to focus on that because i will get injured doing that training. okay right and and that lead up is gonna take a lot of my time and energy and pretty well every bit of focus so the chin-ups is putting those three hours into chin-ups yeah pull okay ups. yeah so you're just like pull-ups not chin-ups pull-ups or are they chin ups? They're pull ups. ups. They're pull ups. Yeah, pull ups. Hands over. Um, chin ups are like for pussies. For pussies, yeah, basically. Yeah. Pull ups are for like the you know the, the real men and women out there. And you women, know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm. athletes. Athletes like just There's something like staring at a wall for two hours. It's a fucking. There's nothing like it. You did a third. Did you do six every minute for like fucking? I did a thousand the other the last weekend. A a thousand. Two and a half hours or something? Yeah, two hours. What do you do when you That's stop? Crazy. Like once you've hit a thousand, you're like, okay, I'm like, I gotta take a shit. Ready to go tomorrow. Like I like even yesterday I did I was doing weighted, like I had twenty four. Saw kilos. that on the old uh, on the old IG. Um but I don't know. I don't know. This it's just it's got me back in that like fuck, that's right. Like I I I, I wanna go for the pull up record. Like at some point I'll do that. What's X-team the pull-up record? It. He yeah, definitely Kane. he had it or he has He's it. He's got the eight Who? hour, one hour. Is it Kane? Kane X-team? X-team, yeah. The, the, he's an Aussie. Surf, the Iron Man. Man. Iron Man. He's surf an Aussie Iron guy, yeah. yeah. He had the, he's got the eight hour pull-up record. 4,700. <laughs> I think he's going for the 12, 24. Oh, he is? Yeah, he'll... um 4,708 hours? Yeah. The record for 24 is 8,100. That bloke did 4,700 in eight hours. Holy shit. 8,700. 8,100. 8, Wonder how many that, yeah. <clears throat> He's got to break it down into minutes, I think, don't they? Yeah. And they just go and go and the go. The kid who has the 8,000 in the 24 hours is in Maroubra. So it's all Australians. We're just pull up champions of the yeah. world. Yeah. Because well, we're sickos, mate. Oh, well. I, you know what I mean? Like, we could, we got that dog in this. Yeah, yeah. I love that, though. Like, they're just like, no one knows them. Not gay. Every people know Kane, but this guy is just like some kid works at Fitness First in yeah. Maroubra. Yeah. Fucking hell. Jackson Italiano. Yeah. 8,008 8 pull-ups in 8, the space 8. of a day. He got to 19 hours and he's like, oh, I'm fucked. I can't move. So he started like five hours or three hours. Oh, so day. he pulled out at 19 hours. Might have been 21. And that's not a criticism out Jackson yeah. Italiano. I'm just, you didn't pull out. You finished. It's just Great about, name. Jackson yeah. Italiano. Shout out to him. Right. That's I'm a fine. fucking name. I tell, you, I tell you what was nice to see was when you did testing with us the other day, just to see you in action in the gym was powerful stuff. Tom messed it because he's just yeah, not. He missed. He well, missed. no, I had family obligations, unfortunately. Right. And to They're be honest, I'm though. glad because fucking you did 19 straight pull-ups and I did <laughs> 85 three. push-ups. Poor five. old Josh. I think Josh saw you in action and 
it's it's motivated. It's it's lit a fire under yeah, him. He has. actually because he did like thirty two push ups. I beat him in the push ups, me. So yeah. And I'm like, and he, and he was giving me shit because I got over the twelve weeks. I got slower in my run, yeah. by thirteen seconds. So he's like, you're a fucking loser. I'm like, mate, learn how to do some push ups. <laughs> <laughs> and then he so came good. back the next day. He's like, mate. Or the next a week later, he tried again. He got like forty two or something. No, so when, when we mental. drove off, I was giving him shit. We drove off, and then we saw him in the gym, just get back on the push ups. I'm yeah, like, I've so got his good. head. He messaged me literally two days. I know that Arvo actually saying, "Hey mate, when you're ready, let's do some sessions in the gym again." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm pumped. It's it's good. It was that was mad. I love doing that. It's funny that plank is fully mental. Yeah, it's all mental, bro. The planks, the planks mental because you can like. That when I hit five, I was like, I'm just calling it a five minutes because yeah. I don't need to. Like, there's nothing I need to prove. I'm no. gonna be fucked. My abs are gonna be fucked for the next three days. Yeah. Um, but if that, but if the guy, the other guy, mate, in the if room he went was, for ten minutes, no worries. Yeah. Not a fucking worry. And like he looked at me, he was fucking killing it for like three and a half minutes, not moving. I'm moving around like I'm fucked. Yeah. And then he looks over at me, and I just like winked at him, and he's just like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Drops, <laughs> broken him. It's all head. It's yeah. all in. And I, I, I would have, I would have literally fucking killed myself to beat him. Yeah, I get. So that I was feel. like, we got to five. I was like, okay, oh, five minutes will do. That. Yeah, that's. I'm done here. Because yeah. then some other guy beat you. Yeah, I know. But like, and I'm like, but if I he also, was there, you would have. If you think about the push ups, I was doing four minutes of a plank anyway. Because I'm fucking doing a push up and I'm planking. Yes, that's a great point. It's a great point. Yeah, straight into it. But anyway, it's all. It was all. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was yeah. good fun. I'd love to do it again soon. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not. He's <laughs> like, we're starting another. I'm like, you can get fucked, cunt. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> not that run anyway. Fuck that. Fuck the run. The run. Oh, it's awful. a spewy run at two point four, isn't it? I spewed the first start of the training. Spewed when you the had first a crack. run. Had a crack, and then after that, I'm like, and it was just crackless after. <laughs> well, that. I've spewed already, right? Like, what do you want? Well, I mean, it's just that you didn't have any more cracks. You no, I was cracks. crackless. I mean, I had a good crack this morning. I are almost you, bailed out early today as well. And you know what? I had Brockman in the head. So. Nice. Are you guys going to um, attempt another marathon? Not attempt, but succeed at another marathon? I reckon I've probably got another one in me somewhere, but not not like tomorrow. No. Not, not on Sunday. We were asked that while. actually on that the marathon podcast. The Sydney Marathon podcast, is that what it was called? We were asked on the Sydney Marathon podcast. Yeah, that's right. That I go? don't. <laughs> is that right? Has the Sydney Marathon podcast? Mate, it's the fucking biggest marathon podcast we've ever been on. Really? Mm. Incredible. Yep. Only? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, but I don't – for the for the right reason, I'll do it again. I'm not just doing it. You know what I mean? Oh, like, that has to be incentive. Well, but like – and I mean like – What's for, the right reason? Cash? No, like charity. You know, yeah, cash, yeah. yeah. I'm going to need fucking 10 grand. Bickies. No, like, you know, if there was a charity or something like that I was fucking passionate about or like, I don't know. I to be honest, there's not a lot. <laughs> take a lot. I Better fucking don't want to do it again. But there's a part of me also that's like now knowing what I know, just being able to go in there and not cramp my ass off so early. That was the, that was a disappointing yeah, reality. Mm. Cramping at 19 k's was not what I was expecting. Not what the doctor ordered. No, but now as well, I can run without pain. So like I was getting in so much pain prep for that marathon. Now it's all I, mental, mate. It's all mental. <laughs> Well, listen, mate, I know you've got a little... Just pick up a rock and squeeze it, as Ned would say. Dude, that actually worked when we did that run. It worked. But then I stopped off for a shit, and then I left it next to the toilet, forgot it, and then I was... was There's a few rocks around, mate. There's plenty of rocks around. Yeah, I know, but I... not the only rock in Centennial Park. Nah, but I'd uh, I'd gotten attached to that rock. It was my rock, dude. No, there is certain certain rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And And in fairness, I don't know much further to go. But, like, that rock, I was like, fuck. I let it go. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, um, mate, is there anything else? I was actually wondering. Could okay. you tell us about um, your forty hours with Cam Haynes? Oh, oh yeah. Is that in the book? Is that fucking in the book? All right. Well, don't burn too much. But it- um, we- yeah, I um, yeah. So I I'm still dealing with foot stuff and have been since then. Um, and I yeah, I rocked up. I did the American tour. Left Boston, uh, flew to San Fran, flew up to – no, flew to Seattle, flew down to Oregon. Mm. Uh, basically fucking nine hours of travel. Arrived in Oregon like 10 o'clock that night and I only had the day with him. And I got the um, the sheet, the, the, the email, the itinerary of what we were going to do the next day. 8 a.m. start, 12 p.m. finish of the run. Um, into Bo, into whatever. And then I got it and I go, no worries, sent to Cam. I was like, um, I'll see you at eight, but I'm running from 12 tonight. 
and he just goes, see you at 12 tonight, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> oh, really? And then, and then he rocks up in his big fucking F truck. Um, you know, they've all got the biggest fucking units. Those in trucks in Rogan's, in, he's, he sold, Rogan sold his to Cam. Oh, okay. Um, rocks up, we go to his house and it's like 12.30 at night. I'm in the middle of fucking Oregon. I haven't slept a minute. And I'm like trying to sell that I'm a fucking tough cunt to Cam. Yeah. And I was like, he goes, you good to go? He goes, you just get here. I'm like, yep. He's like, you're good? I'm like, yeah, I've never been better. I'm all good. And then um, put the pack on. I haven't wore a pack in fucking like two years. Mm. Um, and it's freezing cold. Oh, really? Like freezing cold. Um, my nuts were like sw- like going up in me <laughs> from the get-go. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't run hills in the best of times, yeah. let alone in fucking Oregon, middle of the night. So we're banging out Ks, we're talking, it's all fun. 3 a.m., we hit the mountains in fucking Oregon, all the hills. Oh. Dude, my nuts, because I'm hitting down, going down hills too, they just start like going in between my legs and like starting to not feel good. And I was like, hey, Cam, like it was, it was fucking ferocious pain. So I'm dealing with like this nut pain from like 30K, like just trying to work it out. I'm like, Cam, can we just pull up? And I'm like, fucking trying to get my nut out like it was so painful got to like 55k and it just basically went numb and i'm like i can't like i don't want to risk i can't risk me yeah nuts. yeah but I, I i just went quiet on it i'm like i can't i can't keep complaining because you know, i was in so you just you just, just went fuck it and then we oh, got to this it. we got to this thing. so you you just you just you just copped nut pain well i was like i hope this isn't twisted because i'm fucked i'm in trouble i'm in oregon in nowhere fucking no like I don't yeah, know yeah. where I am. I don't know where healthcare is, what it's like. Also and American healthcare ain't great. Um yeah, I was fucking tweaking out. But just then, like it was like at that point, he started to like I'm not now I'm just so we're all clear. I'm not saying Cam was saying, Hey, can we stop? And I fucking the whole morning was going, Yeah, we'll get hundred K, get hundred K. It's getting hundred K. You saying that too? I'm him? saying it fucking from basically five K in. Like, yeah, we're getting 100K today. And then we got to 50K and I go halfway and like just fucking saying it, right? Saying it. Getting into it, right? And um, at like 55, he goes, oh, well, what we'll do, we'll just get some breakfast. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, yeah. And then it's like in the sauna, you know, when you're like, oh, I just, I just got to, nah. I was like, no, 100K, 100K. Got to 55 and he's like, we're just going to go get breakfast um, and then we can run after. We'll do some, we'll get the 100. And I'm like, yeah, all good. And then um, he goes, hey, remember we got the rock. You got to take it up Mount Pisgah. And I'm like, fuck. Because <laughs> I'm like, I haven't run anything over since the run. That was my last big run. Mm. So I'm 55K in. I've got this fucking 30 kilo rock to carry up a fucking 2.4K hill. <laughs> and my your cords nuts are fucked. cramping. My nuts are fucked. I'm <laughs> fucking, my foot is in the worst pain ever. And I've just gone, yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, all good. So I put the rock on my fucking shoulder. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like, I'm so ill prepared for this. Get up. I get, I reckon 100 meters in. My quads are just like perpetually cramped. Just oh. like in this state of cramp. Everything's oh. just fucking. And I'm just fucking up this hill. Just like, let's go. Just get it done. Got to the top. Beat like anyone that's been on the fucking record store on the podcast time. A minute off cams. Put it down. I was like, yep, 38, 38. All right, let's go. Ran down and he's like, we'll, we'll get to 60 and then we'll call it. We'll go get breakfast and we'll do the thing. And unfortunately, we only had that day. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we pulled up at like eight in the morning um, and then <laughs> went to this. morning so fucking Went up. to this like sunrise is coming up. We've been at 60K and then, um, yeah, went and dialed in the bow, uh, which was really cool. Like yeah. that whole thing. It was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like setting a bow up to take yeah. home. Um, went and did that, then went to the farm, shot the um, p- uh, the balloon, um, and then went and lifted, just fucking cam, 100 bench press of like 60 kilos, whatever. Um, that was our session. Just pull up, just, just bench press. <laughs> 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 Literally. Um, and then max push-ups to finish. And then, um, and I did 20 and he did 21. Because um, I went first. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we did the potty and he was, yeah, he's really, really fascinating dude. And you did the potty th- after or like, yeah. are you not just fucking completely burnt? Mate, we were fucking zonked and he would like, we're sitting at lunch and he's just like, easy day. 
<laughs> and I'm like, fuck, it's good. It's so good to be here. It's fucking great. And we're just like fucking both fingered. <laughs> but it was like, we couldn't like not say... Like, yeah, oh, you got to You're both just competitive animals. Yeah, like, and we're just like on the bench, and he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, it was fucking so good." And you could see he was cooked, and like, he wasn't <laughs> hiding it, but he was just saying, "Like, easy day, <laughs> easy day." <laughs> uh, but he's Do you a fucking. He was fucking off you when you kept, oh. when you got to fifty, and you're like, because he's probably thinking, "Oh, oh we'll he's wrap it up soon." You. And then you go on halfway, hundred, bro. And he oh, kept halfway. laughing. He kept laughing, like, "Fuck this cunt." Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And then, like, in the um. Yeah, like even I got to his house just for the podcast. He goes, oh, you've still got to do the ice. I'm like, you fucking cunt. <laughs> He's got this ice bath at the back of his house. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. But we didn't We didn't end up fucking doing it. Getting so I'm bit, I feel bath. like I'm just a uh, bit of a bitch. But Are you ice bathing regularly? Uh, I try I try like once or twice a week if I can. Do um, you have your own? I have a chest freezer that is – Fucking iced over, so I gotta undo that, but What's turn that? that off. What the fuck's a chest freezer? Just, like, just a like a deep, um, oh, sorry, a deep freeze. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. That you hop in that you know, water gets pretty, pretty manky. Fucking, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you just gotta right. redo it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't really ever do it for recovery, I only really do it for fucking head. with yourself. Yeah, I saw you do 20 minutes the other day. Yeah, that seems like a lot. Yeah, I was doing half an hour in that one in recovery, um, in Coogee. It's like. Oh yeah, recovery lab is that what it's called? No, nah, it's called recovery. Oh yeah, recovery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. We've been, they uh they looked after us mm. a couple of times. Yeah, they're good. They're legends. Um, Oilsy and Lara and uh, Steve Oils. Oh, is it his place? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, I just get in there and I love it because people like go in and out and like hands up and I'm just like just fucking sitting in the corner just being susso. Um, but they usually just get out in the sauna and try and thaw out for thirty minutes in the sauna. But it's um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've, I've never done it for recovery. So, book out, start of October. Yep. Nedbrockman.com. Speaking tours to hungover McDonald's employees <laughs> on the back burner for now. But, you know, maybe next there's year. Always, there's always another. There will be another time. There'll be another front time. Foot that and fucking be better. Yeah, oh, that'll be great. Yep. I'll just know what to say. Yeah. I'll just know. Like, I'll just start a fucking comedy show. Drop some Macca's <laughs> puns in there. Yeah. I actually did. There you go. So, turns out, 48 Big Macs a day I was burning. There you go. That was when I dropped it. There no one go. gave a no fuck. No one gave a fuck. There you go. Not care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're not cool McLove on that one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Mate, yeah. I'm trying to help him out here. Um, and Parramatta not make the finals. They're obviously not that good at rugby. It's hard. It's, fine, it's hard mate. stuff, isn't it? How'd Manly go? Dude, we didn't watch. Miss it. Um, we had some injuries, you know. Yeah. Key personnel out. Not yeah. important, mate. Nah. Nah, nah para, yeah. I mean, here's what it is. That's what they say. Yeah. It's always next not. year, mate. That there, yeah, there is. It's always But tr- not for everyone. <laughs> That's a great point. It's a great point. On that optimistic note, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming I in, Appreciate man. it. Could you two just not talk anymore?